The great Tim Kennedy. Scars uh, and stripes. What are you looking at? His watch? His watch. Yeah, I mean, you got a nice... Yeah. I mean, because you, you're not a big fancy guy, but that Rolex... So, all of my watch... Yeah, no, 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 no. So, the... That book. The sub... No. No, this is all... This is like SF era stuff. The Submariner and the Omega Speedmaster have a long heritage with pilots and, and special forces big operators. Time, yeah. So it's kind of like a rites of passage, passage thing. To, it's yeah, not you, like this bougie thing. Did someone give it to you? You can't wear that in, in country. No, know? I wear like a, my Omega Speedmaster in country. What do you wear? Uh, Omega. Omega cuts me with one of those. I yeah. don't wear a watch. Yeah. It's Omega. like what they went to the moon on. Yeah. You know, you, but oh. but you like that, you could actually, like the Submariner, you can, you can dive. Do, yeah, you can do like, anything that's what with it's this. Meant for. Yeah. Like my, you know, this is a, the the Italian Navy back in the 30s. Yeah, it's you know, awesome. 30s, that's awesome. I, I didn't mean yeah. to like lean over in your business. but swim in this, but I don't like touch water. Let me start this with saying if... You were in the zombie apocalypse, yeah. and you have three weapons. Oh God! What are they? Okay. Wow. Um, I, wow. Yeah. It's gr- get, great segue. Uh, Good start. Gotta you know, start. I, you start so now, we're, if we're, there was a zombie apocalypse, would you leave your Invisalign in? Well, mm. we are, we already went through that, and my teeth. Oh, I have you gave it to him. Ten more days, Bob. Okay. This. Ten more fucking days. I got some straight teeth. Can't really see it. Mm. I know. Uh, how did okay. your teeth fare pretty well in fighting? Yeah, my teeth were yeah, fine during fighting. Too. After fighting, okay. they're really sensitive. He grinds. Wait, yeah, back to this. Case. Yeah, please. Yeah, I want a long range, a long range, you know, like a Scar 20S and chambered in like a 6.5 Creedmoor. Sure. So it can reach out to like maybe mile, mile and a half pretty effortlessly. Just Is there like a sniper thing? Sniper round. Right. Um, sniper round with a sniper weapon system, but it's semi automatic, so I could put a lot of rounds on target. Mm, you know, of course. So are we talking fast zombies or slow zombies? We're talking slow. probably. Are, we, are they slow? Yeah. They're not the ones from World War Z. That'd be a big no. problem. <laughs> All oh, right, they're yeah. slow. These are the things I think about for me to go to sleep at night, by the way. <laughs> but, but my thing, if it's a zombie, like say Tim turned into a zombie, he's pretty fast and agile. Like, just because you're a zombie doesn't mean you're going to get slower. Yeah, so but there's, like, there's a lot and they're coming. I would, be bored, I would be bored with the slow zombie. So just for yeah. my, my fantasy. Okay, so, 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 okay. World War Z, Brad Pitt zombie? Yeah, I want it's those zombies. Fun. I want those. Oh, no, no, you I don't want, want them, but I'm going to give you this. Hold on. They're as fast as a regular human being. Okay. Yeah. And that's that's significant. And they're zombies, and they and they're attracted to sound, and they will eat you. They're attracted to sound. All right, so go. You got the long, 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 long rifle. FN Scar rifle. twenty S six point five Creedmoor. That is for sure. I'd have a short barrel rifle, like a 10, 10 inch folding stock. Uh, five, is, that, five, is that like six, an M sixteen or an M four? Yeah, like, but like a short, short no, M4. a short short AR, a short yeah. M four. You say suppressed. Short. Yeah. And um, and then uh, a good pistol like the FNLS Edge or um, any striker fire combat pistol, four to five inch barrel, you know, high magazine capacity, all the bells now, and whistles. Is, are these the well. same three guns you would have with you if you if you can pick when you're like in Afghanistan yes. or the cartel? Really, yeah, same guns. Yeah, yeah, same guns. No machete. No. Machete. No, like machete pistol. Yeah, yeah. pistol. Right? So standoff. Okay. Standoff is the ability to engage somebody without them being able to engage you. Yeah. Anderson Silva. He had standoff of most people. He yes. could punch or kick them outside of the range in which they could punch or kick him. Yes. Like when the Chinese were like, hey, I can take some gunpowder, stick it in the back of this thing, put an explosive projectile in the front of it, standoff. Arrow, standoff. The Greek with spear, standoff. Yes. So you always want that. So like if you have a machete and I'm like, nice talk. Uh-huh. You know, it's like, Oh, you have a shotgun. Cool, I have an AR. Cool, you have an AR. I have a sniper rifle. You're like, I just... Yeah, distance, yeah. Brian. But there are times when you're distance, up close and personal, Brian. like your book. What I was amazed at, how, how many times you're you're so close you can grab the barrel, which is so insane. That was not ideal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's like shooting a single leg on Hunter Grace and he kicks a leg over and takes my back. That was not part of that the plan. That got dicey for you. Yeah. <laughs> but you figured your I, way out. Yeah, I did, but yeah. I was like... Just I mean, watched that fight. Yeah. You've never seen it? No. Hunter oh, Grace had a back. horrible. Holy fuck. Like the Couldn't best be grapple, yeah, grappler best ever. Best in his yeah. best I position. Just, I didn't know he was that good. Hodger? I'm, I'm naive. No, Hodger's really good. Holy oh, shit. shit. Yeah. Some would ba- say the best. Yeah. yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Of the Gracie? Bad, bad plan. So, again, like, I don't want to be that close. Bad plan, bad execution. I wish yes. I could like play the tape back again and redo, but there's no mulligans. Right. That's a golf thing, right? Yes. Th- there are things I learned. There are things I learned in this book. First of all, I've, I texted you when I read it. I texted him. It, I've, you know, I, it's not a secret. I read a lot. It, it's it's such a well-read book, and frankly, I was very surprised and very relieved because you read books a lot of times if it's a friend of yours book, oh, and yeah. 
Usually it's not that good. Was that a compliment? Or well, I didn't like, know, I know how, to, how do you take that? Because well, I don't look at you as a... I don't look at surprised that look the, at the book wasn't... I don't look at you as an author. Author's a whole different skill set. Yeah, but, yeah, but look at all, what he's well, done. Well, I'll leave though. it to Tim Kennedy. Hmm? Look at he's, he's a thinker. Done. You are. Guy, can you, not only do I have the great chest here, but you I You have can, two things going for you. One is you're a thinker. Two is you are... You're cast. You're incredibly honest, <laughs> and you're very self-deprecating. So this, wow. I, you said you were going to go dark in the beginning of the book, yeah. and you were, you were going to tell, tell us about everything? Oh, my God. I was yeah. saying like his failures, like all those things that went so wrong. For right. Him. Like yeah. it was, my, mom, my mom. That's a good point, Brennan. For her that, church that, group that's, just got this book, and I was like, ooh, ooh, can, can we do not that? They get it, you know, They you know, get like, it. You know, little women it. maybe. What you, you can never look bad. You, you can you can never look bad when you're that honest. You can never look bad when you're that honest. All your skeletons. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Online's pretty sad. Like Who Arnold Schwarzenegger when they're like, yeah, he like was hooking up with his maid, and, uh, and then fun. made this child outside of wedlock. You know, he cheated on a Kennedy. You know, like, that killed his book sales. People didn't buy his book. Did you know that? Yeah, that's my point. Oh, yeah. Is like, <laughs> you can be too honest, yeah, Brian. There's times that's where you're like, the point, you know, like I, this book is next to me. I don't want to look at it because, you know. But to Arnold's point, again, that's basically how Gra Gracie you having your back. You figured it out because now that kid got his genetics. He's the only one who got his genetics. Looks just like him. Jack. Wait, let's go to, let's, let's go to what we were talking about, speaking of kids Glass and genetics. Because mm -hmm. we were talking about. a positive guy. Yeah, we were talking about, you brought, you, that's a good point. We were talking about how operators like you guys, you tip of the spear guys, almost always to a, like almost always to a man have girls. You, when you have children, yeah. it's always girls. Oh, when they have children, always girls. Do you yeah. know that? High testosterone too. Like most yeah. uh, UFC fighters don't yep. have girls. Really? Joe Rogan. Um, sweats testosterone. Brian yeah. Stan has like yeah. nine girls. John Jones has like 17 all girls. girls. God, it's all girls. <laughs> yeah. And I have two boys. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Listen, we're not saying you're not tip of the spear, nor are we saying you're not like... Maybe in comedy. UFC, Maybe in comedy. You know, champion level physique. Yeah, it's I, like I'm a testosterone. Bitch, but you're going to make a lot of it boys. Is. But yeah. I feel like I have a lot of testosterone. I mean, I have two boys. Like, yeah. First Special Forces Command, uh, they, they have like did research trying to figure out you suck trying to figure out what is going on if you walk into a special forces oda and you and you take all 12 dudes and you say all right carlos how many kids do you have he's like four girls ben how many kids do you have three girls like you just go right down the row if you find a boy in the mix he is like he's held up as like this adonis yeah. It's like crazy. He's, he's like King, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Oh, Simba's up in the wonder, air. You know? I wonder if that's nature's way of saying there's too much testosterone here. We gotta we gotta balance shit out. Yeah. Have you been, yeah. You're just around it all the time. You're like yeah. pheromones are yeah. pumping testosterone. I don't know what it is. That I, is strange. They, it's weird. They have right? a bunch of But you have boys. No, I mean I, I had to get weird to get a boy. They, can, really? Yeah, you were saying you have a technique. Would you so I don't. I don't have. You're, like, I don't own the technique. I did research to find out the. Te and there were. There's a. There was a plethora of techniques. Like positions. Yeah, position. So male swimmers swim faster, but don't last as long. So like an ovulation, if you have, if if you if you come early in our ovulation, like there's more time for the female swimmers to make it up there. But if you have to make it to the egg to fertilize but if you do it at the end of the ovulation it's just gonna be the, the fast boys and then it's over and if you didn't get a, a boy cool you can try next time um position oh, like okay, wait, trying so, to so, deposit deeper and oh. then um it is so gender is 100 percent determined by the male 100 yes. percent. yeah and body fat body temperature uh like athleticism these are all things that skew towards female offspring whoa yeah so but so if you're you, you just finished working out for example bad time bad time bad time you want you want to be on bed rest but yeah a man like you's got to be on bed rest what reading ha watching hallmark movies. i took a month off i flew to germany i hung out in like with a bunch of german yeah. and nordic norwegian vike like dudes that look like this dude like yeah. all of them look like that guy but why would you do that <laughs> just because it lowers your testosterone no, uh, cold cold weather no okay. hot showers no briefs no exercise you were dead serious about this you did I all was not just joking. for the boy for the boy no exercise no exercise holy fuck yeah wow. i mean i did like some dancing uh, yeah, <laughs> like beer gardens in Germany, you know, yeah. like a guten morgen, yeah, you know, and like, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, like gonna say no. Tai Chi and yoga in the morning. <laughs> they got like those little uh, the outfits that the, the the girls wear. Yeah, yeah. Did you go? Did you change your diet? Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. So what's all that? for the uh, boys? Charcuterie boards, <laughs> wine. I mean, I, how, I, how probably how I you live, know, how, how, how you live is what I did to try to yeah. get the board. Brian Collins, yeah, and then like, like soft, positionally, yeah, I sat down the sword yeah, for a month soft. to try yeah. to try to get a boy, 
And then like afterwards, I'm holding my naked wife by the ankles, like shaking her. You're like, come on, get in there, seed. You know? <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm not joking. And then it worked. And well, yeah, I got, you got a boy. Got, got me a boy. It's just the one. Check <laughs> three girls and a boy. <laughs> he's the hope. He's the how, one. How old is he now? Yeah, he's seven. Does he have your athleticism? He's a savage. He is. Yeah. How he could is. you not be though? He yeah. looks the opening scene in the last of the Mohicans. We we're talking about lacrosse. Yeah. Um, he plays lacrosse. He's got striations on his shoulders. He's got this V oh, on geez. his back. Already. Already. He has long hair that goes down to the middle of his back. And he takes off his lacrosse helmet and it's like matted oh, and tangled oh, from oh being God. all sweaty. And uh he just looks like a savage. That's straight out of the last time he can. And he plays hockey. He rides motorcycles. And you won't say it out loud, but like when my son gets out of the pool and he's with his buddies, and I see my son kind of like shredded. Yeah. I'm like, fuck yeah. 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 Like, I do. I do say it out loud because okay. I, I look at like the fat dudes, the fat dad bods, and I look at their their kids that are lame. I'm like, you guys know what's up. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you know. Look at up. look at my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah, yeah. You know, and my, and my daughter's just like this tank. And my two big girls are brilliant. You know, and I like, I know we're not objective. No, but I, I think what you're talking about, for me, I've always looked at life as a, a bit of a war. Like, I, 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 I think beware of your cushy lifestyle because the barbarians are at the gate and they always will be. They always will And be. they're always coming. Do I need and to, like, drink out of the skull of my vanquished foe? Maybe not Maybe right not, now. but be ready cool. and be aware but my that, sword's your, right here. that your weakness and your softness is a liability if you're not rehearsing in your yeah. brain. That's the way I look But it also it. comes in all sorts of different yes. forms, whether it's online or whatever. Well, you and I, but there's a different thing. So, so here, here's my problem. Like, when I think about, like, <clears throat> I love tough and all that, but being creative and being malleable and being able to adapt to an ever-changing world being able to learn, unlearn, and relearn, that's a motherfucker. Well, that's man. mental yeah. tough. That's stand that's up. A form of toughness. When it, when I just shot my special, I have to throw the whole fucking thing away. That's a form of toughness. Right? It is. Yeah. It well, is. adaptation is. is the thing that makes humans the most unique and the most evolved thing on the planet. Yes. Right? We got, we got our opposing thumbs. We got our canines. We have the sixth sense of like, is that, an, is that a lion that's about to. Like, we have all of that, right? We, we understand math, like philosophy. These, these are things that via adaptation we have evolved to become the superior species on the planet can a dude go and deadlift a thousand pounds yes do we have people that go and run the boston marathon at like four and a half minute miles yes is that the same species yes that's wild yeah. first of all that that is us but that's us do we have the use and the joe rogans that can get up in front of a thousand people and be quick and witty and cunning and digging sometimes or kind and clever yeah like that's all like can i can i do that no you said that to me a long time ago when you were talking about you you know that there are guys that may not be built like you but they can come into a room and they can they they have such technical proficiency they can collect all the data on every computer yeah. in the room or the guy the great thing about your fucking book when you're going into if you don't read this book read into the valley of death and return to the valley of death that's okay. all you got to do the the fucking don't read this book mo leave yeah it's an, <laughs> leave it's, a, it's, a, it's seriously a beautiful book yeah, but, but when but there's a kid in there put that on the back there, of there's, yeah, a, there's a shop <laughs> leave the United yeah. States can I put that on there yeah please okay <laughs> leave seriously I'm gonna do like the next post leave the United States don't read this book yeah leave the United States get the fuck out of my country you ain't America yeah but but there was a kid who was like he spoke Greek he's just fucking shouting coordinates and he was calling in the hedgehogs the AC 130s and and you were talking Here's about our how JTAC. Save what is that? Life. So so he he like think about an air traffic controller like you're at LAX that is coordinating all the planes coming from all the different airlines, the different types of aircraft, the different altitudes that they have to approach at, the different speeds that they have to approach at. All of that is happening. But then you put weapons on all of those planes Jesus. and all of those planes have to engage with clear lines of fire, with clear um, coordination with all other aircraft. So you'll have an aircraft doing an orbit. Then you'll have fast movers that are coming in like this. Then you'll have helicopters below them. Then you have A-10s that are going to be somewhere in between those There's two. There's a lot of room for error here. Yeah, a lot. Friendly fire. And all of the different weapon systems that each of those have. Imagine if the, the one orbing that's like doing an orbit yeah. starts letting its gun go. Like, dunk, 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 dunk. At the same time, <gasps> the F-18 starts flying through. Holy fuck. Or the the Apache helicopter comes through. Or the A-10 comes to do a gun run. Right? Like this dude is coordinating all of that. All the while, he's communicating with all of us as to where we're going because we're on the ground, right? So if I go the wrong direction, so like this dude is a savant. I, I don't know. He, Jesus Christ. What was the, that movie that Brad Cooper, who is so gorgeous? Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Yeah. He like took a pill. Limitless. And, oh, limitless. limitless. Yeah, like, yeah. That dude was like a limitless dude. Yeah. Like he like did, took ah, something. It's called Adderall. I, I could. There are a couple <laughs> things I couldn't. Free, couldn't <laughs> I couldn't comprehend. You're fucking going there with 80 trucks. You got you to feed this fob, this forward operating yep. base. They, a year's worth of supply. Check out. this out. Yeah. out. They get in there with 80 trucks. They get there, 20 trucks. That's right. They lost 60 fucking trucks. 
60. You know why? The Iranian freedom fighters who are highly trained motherfuckers, oh, yeah. not Taliban, they're setting up ambushes. They know it's coming. And then you got to you got to answer back. They're shooting grenades, everything else at you. And that's it, it, I, when you said that you would hear the AC 130s or the hedgehogs coming in and it was like music. It was the most wonderful sound I've ever heard. And I've heard some wonderful sounds like the soft mo moan of yeah. me doing the right thing. Yeah. Good sound. Yeah. You know, uh, like hearing that. It was the same. <laughs> The Burt of yeah. of the A ten yeah. warthog. Yeah. Oh my but God. let me ask you this: So you're a sniper you in that si you're a sniper in that situation. Yeah. You're, you're literally. It was literally. I haven't seen a movie with this kind of action. So you're a sniper. They're coming. They're shooting at you. You've got position, and you're taking. You you have to take the enemy out from a distance like that. So you, the Ideally, whole time you're looking for your scope. Stand off. Yes. H how much sleep did you get in the in the from point A to point? I passed out at a moment, and I don't know if, I was, if it was overpressure, altitude sickness, or if I just passed out, but there was a couple hours that were <laughs> black, and, and I don't know if I slept. I don't know what happened, but there, there was periods of times where I was like, I don't know. I don't know what just happened for the past you four hours. <laughs> no, 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 no. I had like, I had bile and dead dude all over the front of me. Yeah. Uh, so there was no like, oh, that was, that was a restful two hours. Jesus it was more of like, right. oh my God, we're back at it. You had, you had to pull a guy out who'd been blown in half. <laughs> oh yeah. That was, that was another oh scary moment. Oh yeah. Dude. It's not a night. No. <laughs> I'm in this. <laughs> I'm in this. I'm in uh, this. Okay. this is worse. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wait, you know that you moment where you hours. wake, dude, you wake up from a nightmare and you're like, oh, it was just a bad dream. Now this is like you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm Dude, I'm, I'm sitting first class. Shoot, not my, to be oh, a dick. my dream last night. I'm dude. sitting first class, swilling wine and having, having fucking zucchini soup on Turkish Airlines on my way to Greece and I'm reading your book and I'm my, my girl's just watching a movie and she's feeling great and they're like, would you like more dessert? Would you like Turkish dessert? Would you like, as I'm reading your, as you're in hell, I'm reading this. You thought and you were kept, veal. You I felt kept, like veal. I kept doing this to my girl. I kept going, you got to read this. Just read this chapter and she would read a paragraph and she'd be like, I'm trying to fucking, you're killing me. Like, I, I don't want to hear about all this death. I'm like, the best part was this. You guys are in the middle of a firefight. They're in the middle of a firefight. They've just been through hell. The guy's trying to kill him. Where's this they, at? This is in the Valley of Death. They just neutralized the enemy. About 400 guys. Where's the Valley of Death? Afghanistan yeah. in the Urzgan province. So now it's like, now there's quiet. It's never quiet. There's quiet. Now, blood, everything fucked up, everything. He's, he's, the guns, he's got a major headache. He's fucked up. The gunner comes down. He's got a pistol in his hand. Another badass guy like Mike, he's got a Mike Goebel. Mike Goebel. And he goes, and, and Tim, because he's crazy at this point, goes, what the fuck are you standing there with a pistol in your, in your hand for, you fucking idiot? And the guy goes, what did you say to me? And he goes, get back up on your fucking gun. And he goes, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? And you he wanted goes, to get a pistol He cap. goes, I'm talking to the fucking, I'm talking to the dick. I'm talking to the pussy with a pistol. And then the guy goes, yeah? How about I come down there? And then Tim goes, you know what's going to happen if you do. In the middle of this whole situation, yeah. the quiet professionals fist fight. We're fist fighting. <laughs> Does he have and, skills? And, oh yeah, and he had just Not saved like my. You, though. He had just saved my life. Wild, hey, wild. Man. We walk hey, up to man. we walk up to a door, and he I don't know him. if he had like sixth sense or whatever, but he like shoves me. I mean, I mean, boom, and I fly back from this door, and the door starts just shredding. <gasps> Seven six two just starts zipping through. Seven six two five four PKM machine gun. On the other side of the door, stood up. The dude felt it. Oh, wow. Shoves me. I fall back. Spidey the sense. door just falls apart. What? We go in. I throw a Light grenade through this window. A horrible thing happens. Same dude. I fist fight two days later over him trying to get a pistol kill. And he's not sitting on his machine gun. That stud. That's lack of sleep. That stud died. He goes back to Afghanistan yeah. three or four more times. Yeah. Dies December 20th, 2019 yeah. on his like sixth combat tour to Afghanistan. Tim, Mike Goebel. Tim, that's a fucking thing where some guys have to be close to the fl flame. They get addicted to it, right? And they have to keep being they chasing be close the dragon, to the flame. or he's just chasing freedom. It's chasing yeah. the dragon, or he's though. chasing freedom. Is it, it, okay, could, could it be both? Chasing, no, no. So like, yeah, like, it could be both. Like, there's a purpose. No. There's uh, listen, just listen to me for a second. Yeah, I can tell. Him. There's a purpose thing here I'm that like I'm if you, if yeah. I lost the purpose. I would be a crazy person. Of course. If if I set like if I set the sword down, if I if I wasn't fighting for a thing, a reason, yes. a belief, f you know, like the American dream. If I wasn't putting myself into that, I would be a horrible person. I agree. I would take all of this energy and I'd put it into like the most dangerous thing possible. I, I think what I mean is that it's very difficult mm. when you live it, when you live an extreme life like that, which is a heroic life, which is also 
a life that very few people touch. And it took a long time. And then you become really good at that. And you develop, I would imagine, like you're saying, a sixth sense. You develop your your everything on your body is Special like just, skill set. Yeah. And and but also the 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 bond you make with people in that situation. The bond that you make it seems like you, there's nothing like that, right? No. It, the it, band it, of brothers. It's, it's true brotherhood, right? And I, I think the challenge is always how the fuck do you let that go? Well, like, similar, how the fuck look, do you the, the, There's also, and obviously that. nowhere near the same consequences, but similar to UFC, too. Yeah. Like going through that, like you, in your training. Yeah, yeah. Your you're in your, your fight coaches. camp, yeah. you know, and then, yeah. then you leave band that and you see these guys that become broken, struggle with, your, like Jason Mann Miller. You could not get a more picturesque breakdown i love that guy I, what Back a great person no, so much no, talent great that guy. he became great insane guy. became terrible became abusive yeah. you know like all the all the bad things that can happen to a human happened to him yeah like if he stayed in the fight game you know was not that there was redemption but could it have prevented him from being the terrible person that he became to but i don't the, know the, 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 the real sad part on jason mayhem miller is even outside the gun, he had a special set of skills. He was he was very funny, charismatic, ch charismatic, clever. The camera loved him, clever. I got a show on MTV. Like he, to me, great. like it's such a sad story because he had his, his he could reach the fucking stars yeah. in this business. I, I think it's possible, and I think that like in five, ten years, when we know more about this stuff, I really believe we're going to find that some people with that kind of head trauma just lose control of their brain. <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. I but, set him up. But, but then I lose oh, control too because I have CT. So it's both of us. Yeah. And we just kill you guys. You guys, you guys start hitting him in the dick with you my me and then I'm like, oh yeah. You guys I have it too. Let's do this. Yes. You guys can do a lot of damage. Can One you time. imagine how much yeah. violence you yeah, yeah, so Dude, much. I'm, I'm with, team. When I was with my ex wife oh, send me to Russia. I didn't even know him that well. And he, he had to drop something off my house. And it was like, me and my girl were watching a movie. I had my I had my comfy They're all like, cozy, I had my comfy yeah, right? cozy yeah. stuff on, and I I answered the door. We both answered the door, and we're both like this. And my girl's like roughly about you know just a little shorter than I am, and we're just standing there like this. And he looks at us, and he gives us the thing, and he's just looking at us, and we're all comfy in our little slippers, and we're all adorable. And he goes, "You know, I could kill you both right now. Right? <laughs> They're too comfortable. They're he, way too comfortable. We're like, well, I like drove from my goes, shitty apartment. He goes, yeah. he, goes, he goes like this. He goes right there, right? And he goes, I can go like that to your neck. I could squeeze your necks and kill you both. And your ex-wife didn't know me at all. She's like, I think she what? probably turned on. I think she was like, Leave up, have a good night. Do you walk into restaurants though? And I, I'll look around and, and you know, my grandpa is the greatest generation. My uncles all were in Vietnam. My dad stole planefuls of cocaine from Pablo Escobar. You're know, like, my brother is of FBI bomb tech. My other brother works for Department of Energy protecting nuclear stuff. My other brother's a Green Beret. You know, then I sit down and I like, <laughs> and then I like look at a restaurant and I go, like, I'm, I'm not angry and I'm not thinking about killing everybody in there, but I, I'm looking around and being like, I had to. they're so useless. Yeah. <laughs> they're so useless. Yeah. What are they going to do if I wanted to? Yeah. What are they going to do? But, but, if, but if the table's flipped and they're like, do you want, I'm going to try to take that, that dude's two-year-old daughter. I'm like, first of all, I need to hide this erection because <laughs> you just made my day. Yeah. I get to protect my family. And I've been and, training for yeah. this for <laughs> so long. <laughs> so long. I thought about this every day. Every yeah. day to go to sleep. Do you know oh, what's yeah. funny now about that, though? Off. What you're saying is that uh, societies that have been, that have had the warrior class at the top of the, they don't do so well. And what's interesting about the, the genius of the founding fathers is they said, you still have to have a civilian government in control of our heroes, yep. our, our, our military, mm -hmm. because for whatever reason, that is only one kind of strength. And that strength is measured, and it's the kind of strength we love. It's superhero strength. It's also strength. the outliers. They but can't they, they, have the majority. Right. But there's also other kinds of strength, to your point, like where you were saying, like there's also, you need your artists. Yeah. And sometimes you gotta be soft to be an artist. You know, you gotta be, you know, he's, he's funny, because as big as he is, I don't know if you, you know this story, Tim, but when we, we had done DMT with Aubrey Marcus, he oh took us through God. a shamanistic... <laughs> Have you messed with that? No. Okay. Uh, so. I, won't get in, I won't even get in an Joe Joe was like, hey, you need to get one of these like uh, sensory deprivation tanks? I yeah. Like, I can't be alone with my thoughts. Okay, so you... So <laughs> if I was alone with my thoughts with DMT, dude... I did Joe's isolation tank. I, I jacked off in it. Well, yes, he did. <laughs> All right, carry on. All right, so anyway... Uh, I'm a they, loser. <laughs> <laughs> We end the podcast. We just end the podcast. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. It's over. It was dark. It's warm water, dude. I'm so bored. Do you know I've never gone back into those things because everybody jerks off. I'm the only one who did. I didn't know that. I didn't you know. animal. You fucking animal. <sighs>
Uh, so now I'm glad I didn't. You yeah, know, like I was, I was self conscious that I was like, no, Joe, like I'm not yeah. comfortable. It wasn't Joe's. It was in San Francisco that Joe connected. Just common me. salt, and I was yeah. just just a bunch like, of common salt. I, I'm like, how much longer? It's dark. It's warm. No wonder I float so well. <laughs> I mean, that's so bored. All right, sorry, carry on. Viscous fucking shit. Well, there's that's the best story. There's a filter. What was I talking about before you talked oh, about coming? Oh, so so dude, so Aubrey. we do we do yeah, TMT sorry. with Aubrey Marcus, and. When I say we saw sacred geometry and went somewhere, we did, all right? So it's all good. Next day, we do a podcast with Tim Kennedy. We didn't know you. We were just excited. I knew him before. Yeah, but I was, I, you know, I, I've always, I was excited. And uh, so we do our thing. You show us how to kill. The first thing you say is you want to see how you kill somebody with a knife. I was like, that's good information. Yeah. And a way, used, a way, not the way. A way. One yeah. of the ways. Sorry. One sorry, of the ways. Yeah. Sorry, Tim. Yeah. A way. A way. Now, now check it out. The next day, we're done we're with the podcast. The and he says, he goes, you go, I'm going back out in the field. And, and you're like, why? And Brendan's like, why? You, you could die. And we both, when we leave, we go, he's the best. We love him. <clears throat> we love him. We're like a couple of schoolboys who want to feel your muscles and we think you're awesome. So we're driving and I'm talking to my wife at the time. And we're driving to Aubrey Marcus's house yeah. to the party. It's a party. It's a great house. And he goes. Those parties are dangerous. Before that, he says a couple things. He's got <laughs> sunglasses on. He goes, he starts going, I just, you know, I just, I'm worried about Tim, man. I'm just worried. I go, yeah, 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 I know. And he goes, and I said, I want him to go off in the field and just fucking die. I'm, I'm talking like, to myself. Like yeah. this. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, no, I know. I mean, but you know, that's he's what on he the does. phone. And Brian's going, yeah, 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 whatever. whatever. Brian's going, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. things gonna be fine. Yeah. So now it's I'm, I'm trying phone. to explain something. I'm trying to explain Dude, something. And, I, and all of a sudden, I just see him go, <laughs> and this giant next to me begins to weep, and he's got Hard sunglasses crack. on. Really? Oh, Hard dude, crack. and it's this, and I and. It's and not, I go, it's not bubbles. Now, by the way, I, now I, I pull up to Aubrey's. <laughs> O'Brien's side and goes, oh, can you not? <laughs> oh, yeah, I go. I go. I was like, I can't. I said to my wife, I'm, I'm not very sensitive. I go, I, I have to go because I have a fucking weeping giant <laughs> to my right here. And I got to figure out what the fuck is going on. An elite Click. fighting Dude, giant. And he's weeping. I don't know if it was the DMT. And I think no, it was. I'll, I'll tell you what. Okay, I, I want to hear it. Like as, he's, as he's weeping like that. And I. Now, now Aubrey's throwing a Snoop Doggy Dog party. I don't know okay. if you've been to those. It's a Snoop Dog party. Yeah, it's right. just so yeah. I can't stop crying. I tell Brian, I go, go in. Don't let everybody know I was crying. I'm gonna tell him it's allergies. Yeah. He goes, all right, dude. I'll see you there. I walk in and I was like, yo, what's up, big bitch? Crying. I'm like, oh, fuck. I told everybody. <laughs> I was like, he's crying over Tim Kennedy. I'm like, I, but know, then I got my payback because those friends. He has that. He has that sand pit out there, and Brian kept saying he could take me down, and yeah, we, we ruined the party. Because me and Brian were drinking, and I go, you can't take me, we're in swim trunks, I go, you can't take me down, dude. I go, I'll give you, any, what do you want? You can start however you want, try and take me down. And, but I, and I figure, he doesn't think I'm going to go double leg because he's too big. Nobody would do that. He thought he's going to go single So I'm going to go double leg. So I've never seen that before. Yeah. So I go, whatever that. you want, Brian. And now, like, the girls are around us, and you can see everyone's like, oh, these guys are, what the fuck? Like, we're trying to party. I'm like, yeah. cool, let's just figure this out, yeah, and then just, we'll be right, we'll back, be right back. back. We can party in a second. I just need to smash We're, we're on lead. sand or gravel. Brian decides to shoot it on a single leg and try to train wrestle to a double leg. And I, I sprawled so hard on his stupid old face. <laughs> old face. Dude, his dude, I had a his entire face filled with sand red. The, the red. contusions on this side of my face just left <laughs> yesterday. You can hey, finally, nope. finally, I finally. We walked back in the party, nobody talked to us. Nobody <laughs> ruined the party. Because the girls were like, they were, he oh. went, sit, like just, <laughs> again, like just sprawled, hips. My face went, again, like that. I. I, my, ears my ear was throbbing. Yeah. It was fucking beautiful. But at those parties, you're supposed to talk about like licking frogs and like banging things. Yeah, yeah not us. Yeah. <laughs> we were throwing axes and fighting. You know what? We haven't been invited since. <laughs> no, we haven't. <laughs> no, but I was thinking about we why remember. I was crying about Tim. Yeah. I, and I remember you talking about DMT. I was like, it was maybe with DMT. I could cry about Tim. It's not DMT. I could, if you, you love him. Yeah, if you make me talk about Tim yeah, and, and him pass away, I'll start crying. I, yeah, I have yeah. the same way. Yeah. I, I love you. you I got mad at me out there. Just, I talked about brace, base jump. You're like, don't do that. You're stupid. That piss me off. Okay. Yeah, I don't I'm, want you to do, I, do I think you're really important, Tim, and I don't want you to do any of that shit. I think you're, I, I, that's why I was talking about giving up the ghost a little bit. Like, I, I, I know it's impossible, but I would really like to see you transition into, and you are doing it with Sheepdog Response, but to see you transition, I think you're needed as an example, and I think you're needed as a fucking uh, guide for a lot of people because you're one of those people that understands nuance. And you're not like this black and white guy as much as you probably had to be as an operator, but I think you're an asymmetrical thinker, which is why I thought the book was so good, and it was and it was a testament to that. No, we need you, but the, we the, need the, you. forget we America need you. and the world, yeah. your kids. Ah, I like that's my kids. That's where I go. I like my kids that's, a lot. And now that I'm a dad, that's where I go. Oh. You're, that's what you're, they fucking yeah. need Yeah, you. but Spartans don't. Spartans know all that. 
That's yeah. not enough. On uh, Memorial Day, I had family over and uh, Gold Star. That, yeah. That dads aren't in the picture anymore, you know? And, oh, because uh, they, they passed away in combat yeah. or something? Yeah. And, yeah, you're right. Yeah. They, so often, you know, we talk about the Spartan, the Samurai, the warrior class. You know, like how often do we think about the, the second order of effect, um, all of the women and children that are like left behind? It's wild. We, uh, that's a lot. It's that's a lot. So it's a lot. Lots. And they all get together and obviously they share over that. Well, they, know, they, 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 try to, they try to survive. They try to move on. Um, so sometimes they're together. Sometimes <clears throat> it's just sharing resources because you know, now you're a single mom you know, trying to raise Is kids. Is there a system set up if they pass not, away where they get funding? Not really. Like, people forget. So Bob. insane. Yeah. People forget. That's they so insane. With their lives. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's when you, your death benefit, if you die in the military in combat, you know, like, there's enough to like live for a year or two. That's so insane. But I agree. You, that he you gave that this dad gave up, up his life for your freedom to go get a job. That family's not taking care for the rest of their lives. It's nuts. Uh, I mean, it's common sense. Yeah, it's America, man. I agree. Yeah, I we're, agree. we're working on it. The it, but it, you know not just gold star families, which are families that lost somebody in combat. You know, but mental health. And suicide, it's the highest it's ever been in military recorded history. You know, 18 to 18. Why is that in military? I mean, it's high amongst, you know, everyone. But oh, it's so much so higher high, in the military. Why in military? Well, especially yeah. among, like, correct me if I'm wrong, we've never had this small a group fighting this long That's in right. theater for that long. That's right. That, and... and, and you in Afghanistan? Well, so, so war. we've never had... We have never had, well, in the history of this country, we have never had war. men, small groups of men like him, it engaged in combat for as long as they are. And when I say combat, doing a lot of killing on target there. And so that will but, weigh on any human but when being. You, when you say war, Tim, because we pulled out of the Afghanistan war, which is the longest war, right? Yep. So with America, but then now, because we're not in the Russia Ukraine war. So uh, what we, war? We, we kind of are on our way. <laughs> um, yeah, we're getting there. We're yeah. in a lot of wars, Bob. We, we only pulled out in September of, tw of 2001 last year. So, you know, we had 20 years of guys getting multiple deployments, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 deployments. Um, the most susceptible group to suicide is the 18 to 35 year old just returning from combat. Like that is the group that was the most, uh, and you think like, dude, that's, that's the war combat veteran that yeah. just got back. Yeah. Like that's the guy that is the most, like most vulnerable. Why, why is it because they're out there like pursuing like a mission or trying to accomplish something they get back here and yeah, they, they, they have a special what, what am I doing here? Skills. Yeah, like have you seen Rambo? Like the original yes. OG Rambo? Oh, yeah. Yes. Where he's like, I can drive a tank, I can fly a helicopter, you know, like I'm useless here. Yeah. You know, like I'm, 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 I, I'm excommunicated. I'm ostracized from this community. I, I talk different. I interact different. You know, like I can't run a business. People don't hire me. I got tattoos. You know, maybe I got a, a scar from a burn. You know, like I'm, I'm definitely think, scarred inside and outside. But I think that it's obviously a huge problem with, uh, you know, people coming back from tours and stuff like that. But it's also a huge problem even with professional athletes. Like if you look at the NFL, the average career is like three and a half years. You look at UFC fighters, I think average career last time was a year and a half. So it's like they dedicate their lives since they were kids to this one particular sport. Yeah. Then it gets over. It's the same. There's this weird like gray area where you're trying to figure out because that's such a short chapter of your life. So I'm sure they suffer with it too. Yeah, they absolutely know? do. And you're seeing a lot more NFL guys commit suicide. Yeah. Well, you know, the, 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 what I have read about, the there heard about, the and talked about to other guys things, yes. who are, you know, gone through a lot of stuff like that is that the, 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 the problem is that you – Nobody is built to be that close to life and death all the time where it happens for that long. over yeah for that long and I think there's another thing that people don't talk about but they've had but we may as well since it's really helped a lot of people a fuckload of guys in theater you know they they've had a lot of help with psilocybin and all that shit but like this is a touchy thing to talk about but I thought it was very important to touch on when you tell, so a lot of young guys, they go into war. Let's say they're operators, they become really great. And they go into war and they have an, a linear idea of like right and wrong, hero, coward, yeah. uh, America versus uh, bad guys, all that stuff, right? And there's this idea of nobility. There's this idea, and I don't mean to speak to anybody who's a veteran, I'm just talking bad about- bad guys. Yeah, so there's this linear notion mm -hmm. of uh, the good guys versus bad guys. I'm gonna go do good things. I'm gonna come back a hero and I have plans. Okay. Obviously, war's way- way more messy than that way complicated, more complicated yeah. and a lot of other things happen that you have to do and i think the the 
thing that nobody actually ever talks about is there are some people, because you're a human being, that not only get addicted to it, they start to, much to their own horror, they start to kind of enjoy it. They, I don't mean to, this is very touchy, so let me just explain what I mean. They, 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 you, if you find that you, you're, you went to church and you were a good person and you do something and you find that you kind of enjoyed it, what they've helped people do, anybody who's listening who feels these, what they've helped people do is people who are clinical psychologists like Jordan Peterson go, hold on, dude, you got to know something. That's called being a fucking human being. And everybody you know, from your priest to your father to all the good, to your t second grade teacher, every one of those people can do that. There is a shadow side to us. And then there's a light side to us. So and there are the angels of our lesser nation. And as long as they understand that you're just occupying a, all of us have the spectrum. And yeah. some of us are pushed in that direction. But once you realize that that, is, that could happen to anybody, Jordan Peterson said, it's important to understand that you could be a Nazi prison guard and enjoy it. And until you get in touch with that side of yourself, you will not, like, you know what J Carl Jung said? For a tree to reach heaven, his, its roots have to, have to touch hell. And until you get in touch with that shadow side, that dark side, you will never understand what it's like to be truly on the other side of that. Yeah. And that's sort of the, I, I know it's touchy. I get a little, I get a little uncomfortable telling, talking to you about that stuff because I don't mean to be disrespectful about no, I mean, enough shit, but. B balance is, is part of it, right? Yeah. You know, you look at the Samurai and the Spartans, like they wrote beautiful philosophy and poetry. You know, you, you have bonsai gardens and Zen gardens where they're, they're drawing art in the sand and then they take a Samurai sword and go lop a dude's arm off. Yeah. Like there, there's balance that, yes. that has to exist there. Yeah. And uh, some of the best operators you know when we were talking about mike mike glover you know like that guy has a dark side to him you know he's brilliant and he's a yeah. great human but how could you not though how could you not be in touch with the dark yeah, side yeah, and yeah. when you're creative you better get in you touch with that to. yeah. that's what they always say if you if you if you want to be a writer like stephen king or anybody you better get in touch with the fucking serial killer in your body because you have him in there do you mean my friend shane, shane steiner in austin yeah i love yeah, yeah, stud. Stud. i love that guy. handsome god guy. i love him what a stud i hate you I so gorgeous he flies a helicopter. he's like your age what's he do I, is he really he's just rich and beautiful he you could, know he couldn't like be. he's one bad event away from being batman oh cool yeah. you know he's just like he's good at everything he's a great shooter he's a great grappler and he was a special forces Co guy? no country music singer Oh yeah. oh yeah, by the way, and he sings. Yeah. I, I was oh, saying, he's, he's the, the Bradley Cooper. I was style. annoyed about oh, how, how muscular and how good looking he was. But, and cool. Oh, I was cool. talking to him about, about going back into music and he was really reticent because he's a good human now. He's a great father. He's a good husband. He's a great training partner. He's good at jujitsu. He's like, I don't know, for me, like play and write music, I was a degenerate. You know, like I did drugs. I was an alcoholic, you know, like that's, the stuff that we'll talk about on in front of microphones and all the other terrible things that he did. You know, he's like, I'm scared that that's what I have to be. Like I, my roots to have to go to hell yeah. to be able to, to reach heaven again. Well, I, I think know. when you get older though, you find great creativity and enjoyment in the, in the, in the battle of restriction. <laughs> I was never, but, look, the, but I, there's also, and then you cut your ear off and paint yourself. Yeah, but, yeah. Whatever I got to do, bro. All, but every it's day also is a fight. rare whether you're a stand up or you're a musician that you touch that stuff that you were doing back in the day when you were wild as fuck. Yeah. Trying to rattle the cages. Well, yeah, it's, because you, you go through these different. phases where you go, now I'm gonna be now I'm gonna be yeah. a fucking as disciplined as I can be. And even though every single fucking day I wanna I wanna go right back to the old ways. Yeah. You know, and it's like, all right, you know, it, it never leaves you. I do like like talking to the young guns, see like the guys up and comer fighters, and they're they're talking about like ah oh, yeah, like look at this ring girl, and I, I kind of want to be like hey let's just come up with me for two seconds. Let me just give you some stories. Let me tell you how that could yeah. end. Yeah, sure. oh, I thought I had end. AIDS. You know, yeah, let me tell you or, something about this. Man. AIDS. Maybe not. Maybe AIDS. maybe not. Well, I don't so know if you're just me. take my book. I don't know if me hanging out with you start talking about AIDS. <laughs> like what? 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 We're trying what? to hook up with chicks. I know. What? That's what I'm telling you. Those chicks might be they're dirty. AIDS. Well, AIDS. the greatest part of your well, that one of the, the other thing I loved about your book is how fucking honest you are. You got two women pregnant yeah. in the same month, yeah. and then another woman goes, "By the way." I have AIDS. Yeah. Go get checked out. So you're like, I'm gonna die. How, you imagine how'd you being, get AIDS? I don't have AIDS. No, how did you get, get AIDS? AIDS. How she? The get AIDS? only way you get AIDS. I think she was probably D drug use. There was a there's a variety or of hooked things. up with a gay dude. Yeah. So um, yeah, it does not happen very often in no. like vaginal sex Never. between yeah. male and Never. female. She might have been um, fucking with you. Cause you blew no, her off. No, 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 okay. no, no. That wasn't. So uh, could you imagine me at the gym though, and like a girl walks in, she's like, hey. 
at this fight, at this night, we like had this orgy and um, I'm just trying to track down my partners and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, that was me. And she's like, oh, that was you. And she doesn't even remember you. First of all, that hurts. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and then second, she's like, Love yeah, me. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to find all my partners because I am, I am positive with HIV. I was like, <laughs> you said it. No, I'm sorry. We, 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 it sounds <laughs> all the ball that you need your body. No, I would start laughing. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it sounded like you said AIDS. <laughs> yeah, Are you serious? HIV. <laughs> And yeah. so, so what now, year was this? This was uh, 2000, uh, 2000. I mean, who, so before you really had protease inhibitors, you're going to fucking die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a good time. Yeah. So what happened? I'll tell you what happened. He got naked and got in Morro Bay, great and whites swam, everywhere, yeah. and, swam and just swam. <laughs> and, and by the way, the sun was even up. I did. I beat AIDS. Cold water beat I, So Mike, Michael Johnson blends money and injects it. Magic Johnson. Magic, Magic, Magic Johnson. Johnson. Yes. And then uh, I just go take my tiny penis and put it in the ocean. Yeah. Swim in the water. How far did you swim? Because they took a, the Coast Guard an hour to find you. So I swim like a 28, 30 minute mile in open water. <laughs> so if we're, so we're, we're two miles out. That's what we are. You're two miles out. Yeah. That's You're two so miles far. out. It's two, so far. two miles. You're in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, that's lame. Now, wait a minute. This is not developed frontal lobe. So to all the young women out there that are talking to a 22-year-old, understand that we don't work yet. No, no. we're idiots. Yeah, we're Our brain idiots. is fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> not in any capacity capable of I any mean, cognitive I, level. I hate to keep going back, though, but how'd you beat AIDS? Yeah, uh, uh, so for... He swam. Also the water, the salt water kills it. We on that night in that orgy did just have like regular sex okay. and transmission of AIDS doesn't happen right. very as, as often as like anal or drug, you yeah. know, yeah. Actually, actually it doesn't Surveys. at all. They, they think barely, ever, anal. Yeah. barely able. Yeah. yeah. So how she got it, I don't know. I didn't get into that, yeah. but yeah. I wasn't she might in any, any other part of her body. Um, yeah. Which doesn't transmit some of your buddies, HIV. Though, if it was a I don't bang know. bang, I don't nobody, know. nobody was in her, in your body, so nobody. Yeah. As long as nobody's getting behind you, going, "Are you yeah. into this?" And it's yeah. premature for you to know that for sure. I'm just saying, I didn't cover dude. that in the book. I'm saying, you know, <laughs> but they weren't. What a wild, um, dude! What a wild. My mom's night. book. My mom's Bible group is reading this book, they're, and they're probably gonna listen to this podcast. <laughs> no, it's the not. best book. Wait, <laughs> so so let me ask so you I, this: I never got it. No. Did anybody as a gang bang get it? Nope. No. What a wild night, right? There are some. I could drop some names of people that were in there that night. I would know them. You know them. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So for a year, <laughs> well, I got tested every single month. I would have to go into the <sighs> Quested College Clinic and have an HIV. Test. So nervous. Jesus. Every you're month. negative. You're negative. You're negative. You're negative. Wait. Go and get the blood. <sighs> wait. It's not now. Like now, it's just like all right. Yeah, yeah obviously. Like but, the military, I have to do every year. So you got hit with the AIDS scare, yep. and also two different girls pregnant. Yep. yep. Holy shit! And now, uh, my now, beautiful daughters and they are had just a couple babies. of weeks apart. Yeah, they, they uh, had. but they are made a couple of days apart. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Timmy and, was doing work. And and I have to go back to the open ocean because I'm terrified of the ocean. Yeah. You swam. You won't shut up about the sharks. Uh, you swam. You go in the middle of the ocean. You just yeah. swim out there. Uh, in that bay, one of my my mom. One of my mom's best friends, Carly Stewart, died in that bay. And uh, many, many great white shark attacks in the Central Coast area. One just happened three days ago. Three days ago. Up there? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And uh, you, you don't, you're not worried about great whites. You're in the middle of their fucking, you're two miles out. Well, they, at the time, he's like, hey, uh, great am I in their backyard the or are they in my backyard? <laughs> huh? Who's setting the sword down? Huh? Do you think I don't think I want to fight a great white? Dude, I love it. I'll tell you a story when I'm in Catalina in Avalon Harbor. And uh, great whites. Yeah, a lot of gray whites. And I'm swimming through the kelp forest and I see a bunch of Garibaldi. Those beautiful, vibrant orange fish. You know, and I'm looking at them like, it's so cool. And then like a fart in the wind, they just disappear. And I'm like, where'd you go, fish? 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 There's no fish. And then I felt the water pressure change. It felt like the water got thicker and heavier. And they felt darker. Satan. And there was a, ju there was a juvenile shark. Great white. I'm going to get a guess. It's like your size. So like nine feet. Jesus <laughs> and I felt so helpless. Oh, yeah. I went down to the bottom and I sat there sucking my air like this. <laughs> in my, out of my regulator. As yeah. I was watching the PSI of my, my air gauge just go like this. And I'm down to like 700 pounds. And I know I have to go up. It's probably been 30 minutes. I have no idea where to go. And I'm, I'm debating if I can walk or fin all the way back to the beach or not. 
because I just didn't want to go up. Yeah, you're just not food Jesus. to them, though, for the most part. But nah. I feel like when you're bobbing on the surface for fucking that long, there somebody's going to be like, yeah. he's being a dick. You're coming. <laughs> dude, he's way I'll tell you out what here. my dick wasn't. It was not on the outside no. of my body because yeah. that Incredible. water is like 53, yeah. 54 degrees. But also, they, that's why they say the biggest problem is the young juvenile ones because they don't the they don't know. Ones, no. yeah, I'll give them this guy. The young ones are the wild. Yeah, there there you go. Nope, yeah. that's yeah. person. Yeah. That wasn't good. That's not a little sealed. bite. Well, now it's a little, little gnaw. Now it's. So I went, I was in Morro Bay a couple of days ago and I walk up to that Coast Guard station and the door flies open. They're like, we're listening to you on Joe Rogan right now, which was super cool. And they're trying to pull the log books to figure out who the captain was. The, the, think about the audacity. There's a dude that's butt naked. He's been swimming for an hour. He has to be hypothermic. And he's, he swam all the way out a couple miles from shore. And you pull up on the boat and you just start, start talking smack. Yeah. He goes, he goes. what are you doing out here? Tim's like, I'm swimming. He goes, and then no Tim, shit. Tim tells him his whole life story. It's a girl, probably have AIDS. I got two, I have two daughters coming. I'm a piece of shit. I got kicked out of the fucking cops. I'm not a cop anymore. Fire department kicked me out. I have nothing. And he was like, he goes, well, that's the smallest dick I've ever seen. Yeah. He's like, you know what? I was, was going to offer to get out of the water. He's an experienced guy. Sounds yeah. Like, yeah. It's totally cool. Just the coolest cucumber. And he knew what you were doing out there. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I, and, like, to and this what day, was your goal? My goal I needed to be baptized. I needed to like feel, you know, Near I needed death. to like, I don't know. I, I wanted to, I wanted to not feel the pain of my decisions. Yeah. I wanted to like one, be like clean and have a fresh start. And I don't know. And this is where, and I have so much sympathy. Like I, there was no mo point where I was like, I'm going to commit suicide. Like that was not going through my head. But obviously there's no level of self-preservation. And this is where mental health, where we're talking about suicide prevention and like how complex and nuanced the human brain is. Where like, I'm going to swim two miles out into the ocean. Like that is, that is the act of committing suicide. Yeah. You know, but I was not trying not to- for commit. someone like you. Exactly. I was yeah. still swimming. Yeah. And, and I, could I have swam back? Absolutely. 100%. Did I know which way to go? No. You know- You, you mean you couldn't see the shore? No, I swam into, out in the fog. Yeah, fog. I didn't know which way- the shore was. I didn't know which way the rock was. I couldn't hear the air horn, and there would be like sounds in the water, and I'd be like, "I don't know what's wet. I don't know what direction that is." I swam directly into the fog, and fog does weird things with your brain because I couldn't. It would like refract light, and and sound was like echoing. And what time was it? Like five in the morning? Yeah, you would have figured it out though. Cold I don't as think it was fuck. It wasn't a suicide. No, it, it definitely like, it to this day. I still say, I, yeah, but I like mental it. health when you're in when you're yeah, like a breakdown. In, yeah. Yeah. Like depression, struggle, like it's all interlaced and intertwined. So what do so you much say to people who are like that? Who fucking are, swim, bro. Swim. Man. Swim. Keep, keep, keep swimming. swimming. Yeah. You know, like don't go under, don't quit. I could have quit, right? Like I was cold. I could have just gone to the drink and like been wrapped in the warm embrace yeah. of darkness, but or, or I, swim. I don't think anybody who we admire hasn't, doesn't go through the desert periodically. And we're talking about Andy. Yeah. Dude, that, that dude's faced demons. Uh, fuck yeah, yes. You know, like serious fuck, ones. Fuck and yes, he's yes. stronger because of it. 100%. He's like Mike, Mike, demons, Evan, Matt, Matt Best, man, his journey of doing in some crazy things, a ranger, working with the CIA. Like that guy has some baggage. He's not good looking at all. No, no. Yeah. God. Yeah. But also brilliant, but also has demons. Yeah. He's also you not know? making tons of money. Yeah. The big what? He could do anything you he wanted and he'd, he'd make a ton of money. You know, like when he was making videos, he's being a comedian. He's great. Was, he's great. He could rap, he could sing, play guitar. He's, he's so gorgeous. Talented. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's fucking. <sighs> and the coffee's fucking yeah. my favorite. My, yeah. old, my old girlfriend called me about him. She goes, oh, I need to meet Matt Best. He's the hottest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what to tell you. What do you want me to do? Yeah. All right. He so at this like Coast Guard station, they take photos. We laugh. We, we kind of shoot the shit for a second. And then ultimately, I was like, they're children. They're like 19 year old. I don't know Coast Guard ranks. They're yeah. like an ensign, you know, or like, yeah. you know, they're, they're, they're all like privates and uh, 19, 20 year old kids. And that and a salty old dog saved my life. And on the log, you had the date time group. So you had the date and kind of military. Did you found the log? They showed you the log? They have it. And it had, so like the time, the date, the location, and then the remarks, which was, Pulled a dude from the water. That was it. One of the worst and most hardest moments of my life was just a single line. That should be a lesson, That's everybody. Fun. You're a you're less than a footnote. You're great, yeah. Sam. Yeah, yeah. You're less than a footnote. So keep swimming. Keep swimming, and keep find swimming. help. Yeah. You know, so that dude that dude helped me. 
he and he helped me in all the perfect ways he throws this cargo net down with my frozen fingers and my tiny little frozen dick i clamber up the side of the boat and then he takes one of those wool navy blankets and he puts it over my back and it felt like a million needles of hot steel burning into my flesh but it was the best feeling ever yeah. and as he's making fun of me and he gets down he's like hey we're never gonna i'm never we're never gonna have this conversation again you know it's like that that was it that was the extent of the, like tough love, tough love. Yeah. yeah there's no heart to heart you know like let's let's maybe like let me hook you up with a you know counselor yeah you know let's let's find some you know some options in the church to figure out how to no nope. no it was i think everybody did deals with it differently but i think that's so fucking true i love the expression that that man in fact speaking of hiv he won a tony award um try to bring it up Jenny. he's mm -hmm. won a tony award black guy he's 75 he was hiv positive in 1989 Ooh. okay bad, bad, bad time yeah, bad and time. he was gonna die uh and one of the first Mike people Johnson, he, he has become one of the greatest he's it when he is he is broadway royalty and he uh Mr. Rose? No, uh, I will know his name if I see it. He he made a speech. It's on Instagram, but it's so great because well, he I hate basically that. It's like said, "People who ask who in Hollywood is HIV." Yeah, yeah, he said. He said. Is my name um, on there? No, he's broad. <laughs> just put Broadway actor. Broadway. Black. I forgot um, Charlie. He just won. Anyway, he fucking he made a speech and he said, "Surround." He he just kind of said this thing. He he speaks this way and he's really you know and he's a great actor and they, they, I think that's him. Javier Munez. This? I believe that's, yeah, uh -huh. whenever, he made this great speech, um, and he basically said, um, this is how it goes. He goes, surround Hunter. yourself. He's an 80-year-old man. He's, He's going to no, be a Mexican guy, yeah? No, it's yeah. not him. He's black. Um, he said, surround yourself with people who light up when they see you. The fastest way to get to where you want to be is slowly. And the top of the mountain you just climbed is the bottom of is is the bottom of the next mountain huh. so keep climbing and the way he said it was just it was just fucking beautiful man i i didn't do it is this justice. Him? no okay. fuck i'm sorry guys it's okay it's so good though he's a, he's older he's really old mm. like yeah. you older i am 55 my friend okay. i know is the guy 55 who did the he's speech? 80 old no. oh that so you're you're younger than that yeah dude Okay. Yeah, dude. Thanks there's, a lot, Tim. There's, there's You're questions. being a dick. I just wanted to make. I just want to make sure I understood that age. Yeah. Time span. How old thing. are you now? I'm 31. That's what I thought. I was <laughs> yeah. gonna say. I was gonna say. I'm 31. 31. <laughs> yeah. That's not him. Yeah. Uh, you sure you had age to be? Yeah. Yeah. He's a famous, famous uh, Broadway actor. Is it Andre De Shield? Yes, it is. Yes, it. It is. is. Yeah. Just bring it up because I want to hear Andre it. Andre De Shield. Yeah. I know. It's juicy. He does the tough mutters with me and crushes yeah. them. Yeah, he's a big boy. There he is. Hmm. There he is. <laughs> oh, you ever, like, he's look awesome. at a body and be like, I could survive off his substance for uh -huh. a good four months. Of oh, yeah. lot, lot of of oh, halfway through the tough mutter, I'm like, man. <laughs> like, look at an elk. I'm like, I'm going to shoot that big one. I don't really do it in cannibalism, but I also look at him and be like, uh huh. Yeah. I'd, yeah, I'd be the go to. Our plane went is down. Is that ACL surgery on that left knee? Yeah. yeah I yeah. see that scar. I feel like everybody in a war zone is just a, a nose hair away from just. <laughs> just fucking, eating another person or just fucking some <laughs> fucking your yeah. buddy just being like you know what i love you so much ah yeah. fuck it here uh, we go. I'm uh, a drunk. getting those basic needs met I, yeah. do it just looking at him i can see how you has, did the impression of how he talks. that's right he speaks yes. this way and he's yep. he's a great he uh, he's a broadway actor and he's wonderful if you can find his acceptance speech it's fantastic there's a clip of it we only have to watch a tiny bit doesn't matter. I'm, I'm kind of. Uh, yeah, I the think whole. we. Yeah, you, you, you kind it. of ruined it. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Kind of. Right. Now I don't want to say it came. The podcast came to a screeching stop. I, it might. We're looking for this guy. Nobody knows. Yeah. And he also. The bottom of the. Why the, do you? Why do you know? Like the top of the mountain you just climbed is the bottom of the next one. So yeah, climb. sure. That's, that's in a Dr. Seuss book. Yeah. Like uh, philosophical. You know? Like Dr. Jordan Seuss Peterson's yeah. going to take it, make it smart, and then yeah, put it into his book. That's right. That's right. That guy can write. That guy? Yeah. Do you ever hear, do you hear him talking? He was, doing this, he was doing this thing. It's like a tiny clip. And he goes, uh, he said, you know, people are always, you know, asking what is the antidote to the discomfort of life? And I suppose you'd say it's comfort. But that is what a mother acts out when she swaddles a baby. Another antidote might be an adventure to excellence. And that's the Jeez. courage of a mother, right? to facilitate that, to encourage that. Away you go, kid, away you go. And the kid goes, no, but it's dangerous out there. And the mother says, yeah, no kidding. It's more dangerous if you stay here with me. Ooh. You go out there, you might lose your body. You stay with me, you'll lose your soul. You know, he is all 
the reels length videos of him on Instagram and YouTube. Yeah. Like that is, that's like the idiot's guide to philosophy on, right. on my level. Um, I went and got his book, like the 12 steps and I was like, it's too much. Yeah. There's too many words. Yeah. yeah. The print is too small. I've also been there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the same thing. And I, I got all fans to myself like, yeah, I'd rather I, hear him say it. I think I'm a smart person. Yeah. And then I'll read the book. Like, ah, yeah. you, you don't need it, Tim. No, I do need it. No, you don't. I'll just go back to YouTube. I read, and, it. I read it. You don't need it. You live it. You live I, it. I need it. Like how the the Google is just sitting there staring have at you, us. Have you seen uh, Jordan Peterson live? He does those big arenas. No, hmm. he's coming. I need time. LA, yeah. I haven't had time to go into Joe when Joe got to Austin, and I went to one of his comedy shows. The Vulcan. Yeah, that was the first time that I've been to like live. I have had time to go to a live thing. Hey, B, let's take a little break because we got Tim in here. If you love freedom, if you love which freedom. we're we're about freedom here, oh, yeah. dude. If you love freedom, I'll be in Fort Wayne, Indiana, July Is that where 14th you're be? through 16th. Okay, talk about freedom. Where else That's you in be? Fort Wayne, Indiana. You're in San Diego, maybe. Oh, after dude, that? there's gonna be so many military guys there. Yeah, San Diego, July 21st through 23rd. Then mm -hmm. Baltimore, August 4th through the 6th. Okay, Appleton, Appleton, yeah. September 8th through the 10th. I'm in Houston. Boston's all in September. Get your tickets at thickboy.com or fatkz.com. But Fort Wayne, Indiana, Europe, July 14th through the 16th, and that's San Diego. Listen, if you want to see me living my life, you want to see me hunting pythons, yes. you want to see me fucking getting waterboarded, you want yes. to see me fighting special forces guy, best of, that's the TV show on YouTube. Go to Brian Callen YouTube channel. Uh, I got Milwaukee Improv, July 21, 22, 23. I'm excited about that. Austin, Texas, Tim Kennedy's hometown. July 28, 29, 30. And then I got Nashville, Tennessee, Zanies, August 25, 26, 27. Spokane, Washington. Spokane Comedy Club, September 22nd, 23rd, 24th. One of my faves. I'm excited. That's a good run right there. Uh, hey, dude, how do you stay in shape? Your legs look you juicy. Asked. Yeah, the juicy quads. Your legs quads. look juicy. You're, you got a tailpiece on you. You got you got big strong arms. Dude, what are I you burned doing? some calories. Are you boxing? No, you, no, no, you, no, Daddy. What are you doing? I burned some calories with the Peloton, man. Peloton, and it's right in my garage. I get it done there. It gets nice and toasty in there. Listen, I love Peloton. They have great music. Whatever you're looking for, hip hop, EDM, rock, they got it all. But do they world have world-class class trainers, dude? They have world-class trainers? Yeah. Motivate you 24-7. When you're ready to go, they have live classes, which I like, but they also have the on-demand class. So if you miss it for whatever reason, you got a busy schedule, it's on-demand. It's there waiting for you. I don't have an hour, dude. I don't have time. You, dude, you have 40 minutes. You got 30 minutes. You got 20 minutes. You got 10 minutes. Yeah. Dude. They have workouts. Yeah. That, that, really? And they have it all, man. They have it all. They got the run if you have the Peloton tread. They got the freaking 10 minute upper body stretch between calls. Damn. Yeah, dude. All right. I like the Tabata ones with Robin. That's my favorite. All right. Mm -hmm. And right now is the perfect time to try out Peloton. The Peloton Bike Plus is now 500 buckaroos less. It's the best price it's ever been, including free delivery and setup. And there are more game changing prices available on the original Peloton bike, which I have. You'll see me on there. I've had it for six years. I'm um, uh, Thick Boy Prez with Z on there. That's my username. Follow me and like. Uh, and you can also get the Peloton tread as well. Visit OnePeloton.com to learn more. To go to a live thing. I'm going to be at Cap Cities uh, at the end of July. Are you going to be around? I'll be in Ukraine. Fuck. Fight for your freedom. So Fuck. Yeah. Sure. I wanted to I'm fighting for them freedom. I'm not, I'm not entirely well, sure. Well, it's just a matter of time for the game yeah. over here. So yeah. I mean, freedom too. It's wild that the new the NATO line is now at the border of communist Russia. Like... People haven't put that have put that framework into their brain yet. If you think back to like East and West Berlin, where like <clears throat> Germany was the forefront of Western civilization and democracy and capitalism was in Berlin, and then on the other side of Berlin was Russia, and Jesus then the wall Christ. came down. Yeah, Mr. Well, Gorbachev, now, tear down this wall. Guess what? That has been encroaching yeah. inch by inch. And it's, it's in Belarus. It's so it's in Ukraine. Yeah. Crimea. But it's, it's so bankrupt. It's so sorry to say it. It's so 20th century, bro. Hey, Putin, are you are you annexing territory again? <laughs> they are, are. You doing this? Are we going back to the fucking 20th? They century? are though. They, I know. And, but nobody's doing anything. How did it work out? I know. No one's. I mean, how did it work out? He's literally. He's about. He's going to go all the way to the port. You mark my words. Uh, well, they're, they're going to get. Ukraine's going to be a landlocked country. Yeah. Eighty percent of their GDP happens <laughs> through that port. Yeah. They're screwed. Yes. Now Poland, Finland. Romania are all, next. are all on the uh, chopping block. I think Jesus that Christ he would too. be asking for, and you would know more about this than I do by far, but I think that NATO has the weaponry and technology to decimate a serious Russian assault in a place like Poland. Because yeah, if they, like remember this, advantage. if they attack, sure. if they attack a NATO member. But they just member, took Ukraine. But NATO's in a huge difference. Ukraine is not a NATO member. Yeah. The minute they step fucking foot in a NATO, right. Yeah. And that's why Putin said in 2012, 
the idea that 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 Ukraine is flirting with NATO membership is so antithetical to our it is it is a direct assault on our national security and if you think we're going to have nato weapons on our border you're sorely mistaken well now they have nato weapons yeah. on their border yeah they do he literally the hypocrisy of him saying like i don't want nato bo on my border he miscalculated but no he, he did exactly what he thought he was going to do he just moved instead of having nato come to his border he moved his border to nato mm -hmm. so in in the aggressor that, that's interesting yeah. ugh, that, that's he's not dumb he's not dumb he's not dumb they also say he only has three years to live nah he's fine oh damn yeah and do what do what a tyrant can do in three years that's wow. what i'm saying yeah i mean i, I, I could get a lot done if i, I was just, i think it's scared that he has three if he actually has three years i think he wants to be uh, this is know, a fancy cement. bottle yes you're i welcome. could use this as a weapon yes welcome to thick boy yeah. yeah he could kill somebody with that oh yeah or the mic but i think what's scary if he does have three years he wants to be like cemented in history yeah so what's the him gonna stop him from releasing the news well i don't think whatever. there's any profit in that right so so i think he's, well, a, he's, a, he, he's a cold calculated guy who's looking at the like there's a there's a strategy and a method to the madness right so now ukraine belongs to me now ukraine is no longer going to be a nato member right and <clears throat> there's probably some there's probably a lot of profit in something like that where you can control his he's sphere losing profit though because the oligarchs are on the fucking run now and they yeah. and the oligarchs control yeah. everything i'm but, sure there's a cost for skin analysis of like what is this land worth what is yeah. the production that's happening on the east side what is this port port worth like 80 percent of a country's gdp is that more than Billion. Well, look what happened yeah, to oil yeah. prices when Russia. This I need a flow chart happened. for me to make before I start making decisions about how deep into this country I'm going to go. I'm, I'm I'd be like, all right, so I would take this manufacturing, this industry. I would take this uh, mining. I would take this amount yeah, of oil. Yeah, because he's not stupid. No, he's not going. Oh, I'm going to do this. No. Forget the money. He's no. going. If we get this, especially that port, yeah. and we're making. I would love this, to be there at the end of July, but we'll do you think that there's we'll anything? I know it bums me out, but do you think there's any? Oh, we're going to film that thing too. No, I can still make that happen. Really? Yeah. I want to shoot. I want to shoot a best of with him where I'm shooting fucking hogs from a helicopter. No, no. Well, can we can we shoot him on horseback? That is really hard. Okay. Yeah. I'm um, not a good we, horseback not made rider. for that. No, nope. I ride. You but should I do can. what you should do. What uh, I no. wanted to do with Tim, uh, I want to get waterboarded, and I do that in I a heartbeat. Do. The you problem say that. is, I told him that, and then when I was in Austin last, he texted me goes. Hey, heard you want to get waterboarded. How serious are you? I'll I do it for best of. Okay, you Send say that. Address. You say that. But okay, so I, hold on. No, you so, don't. No, no, no. no for, I, look, I look more into it. I'll, I'll do anything for no, the I fucking TV show. Who do anything for the views? So I think Brian might I'll do it. I'll do it. And not only that, I want to kill hogs. I want to blow shit up. And I want to be waterboarded. Now, okay, hold the on. first two are super easy. The third, so for, for waterboarding to really work in this advanced ter interrogation, I'm you out. have to like have full confidence that you're not in control. So, yeah. If, if you know that I'm limited to, okay, I can only expose you to this duration of water at this angle, yeah. then you're like, okay, I'm safe. safe. That's not what's no, going to happen. You're going to okay. give all freedoms. All right, so, ready? Okay. Yeah. You're going to use your safe word, couple and I'll be up. like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, there's no safe word. And then you're going to do the thing with your hand <laughs> to let me know that you reached your break point, and but, I'll be like, I don't give a and fuck. And then after that, Timmy's going, no, seriously, Tim, I'm about to die. Yeah. We still don't give I don't a fuck. Give a fuck. Okay, hold and on. that's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> hold I, I don't want to die. Because that, that's not how so, it works. No. So I'm already... Uh, so Mike, so Andy Stump, I'm going to hit Andy Stump and Mike Glover. I hope Mike Glover can make it. They're going to hunt me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to airsoft with And why are you going to hunt with them, but you're not going to let me hunt you? I'd love you to. If you if you want to come and join those guys, I'm going to get three comics. No, no, we want him to hunt I'm gonna get like I can't you're too I need guys like Dalia and Nick Swartzen. I need guys and we're gonna try to fucking fight you guys for real. I'm gonna have my weapons and we're gonna fucking we're gonna try to airsoft with you and kill you now guys. The fine line between dumb and crazy is, is really getting blurred right now. So yeah, it's so stupid. we are gonna Chris fuck you sign up, up for that. You're, you're fucking, Chris ain't doing <laughs> for that. Three with this spear <laughs> operator. But his like thing, elite if, guys. You, if you lose, you get waterboarded. Oh. You're gonna you're gonna wake up and and Mike Glover. You're gonna, gonna hit have, me all over. No, he's gonna have like pig blood sprayed across his face, and you're gonna just you're gonna you're gonna wake up, and he's gonna be hanging over, mouth breathing. You know, and, and a couple of your toes are gonna be hanging from his earrings. Yeah. Dude, you know, I like, called Andy. Something. He goes, I I got he came back with a date. He goes, How's the fucking beginning of August, you fucking pussy? I'm like, Here we go. Yeah. It's gonna They're be bad, savages. Huh? Those Andy's two gonna are be in a brilliant fucking savages. squirrel suit flying through the air like Batman. <laughs> It just sounds like so much fun. I just want to see how I long I can sound last. Fun. Wait, I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah. Uh, do they know where you're at? Like, a, like I don't here? know how it works. Like We're gonna, we have to area? figure it out. It's going to be sick. You guys are going to last one minute. Well, I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to fucking squeeze off some rounds, bro. 
No. Oh, look at him looking at me. <laughs> look at him looking at me. I just want to see you get waterboarded. Just do that. Okay, so how long do you think I could last realistically water being waterboarded? So the, the, the question isn't how long you could last on the board. The yeah. question is if there's something that I want from you, yes. how long is it we until you, you are going to tell me? Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna do people that. reach a point where they will say anything, even if it's not true, to get off the board. Wow. I believe that. It's torture. So like I could tell you, I, I want you to say... I believe that unicorns are real and I had intercourse with one of them. Yeah. That's the sentence I want. And you're like, first of all, they're not real. <laughs> yeah. Second, there's no bestiality in me that looks at a unicorn and is like, that's what I want. Yeah. There's not a bit. Not a problem. And I can't. <laughs> you're still going to say it. And I can't. And what happens is you're drowning. You just can't breathe, but you're, you're not dying. You're drowning and you are dying. You are dying. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. close. So you're just going to keep pouring water and you're not letting me fucking. No. no. no and no, I'm inverted. Safe. But yes. you give me breaks, obviously. No, no, no. I mean, depends on what I want to do. If his hands and, and I'm so I got. So, but you're you're already grasping for the rational safety measures yes. that are in place, and it's I'm telling you, there's work. no net. I, that's I, not that's how that really works. That's really fucking scary because I'm already I'm, I'm getting claustrophobic thinking yeah, about it. You could it. not. Uh, I'm claustrophobic. I'm yeah, the wet towel over your face, you know, the water at the angle that you're at, going back up into your. Sinuses, I saw you get done. You're trying, you, to, it, you're trying to blow it out. Yeah. yeah. Do you see my friends? They were using a bucket, and they're like, "Forget the bucket." They pull a hose out. and yeah. Using a hose. Yeah. Those are my friends. And they're trying to break you. They're, they're horrible. Did they break they're you? not real friends. Did they break you? Though? You can't break a rock. That's, I was just gonna say, come on. <laughs> you can't man. break a rock. <laughs> yeah, I'm hey, definitely not doing. So horseback, we have tried the javelin spearing yeah. horses off horseback. Horses get super spooked. Right around pigs because they smell weird and oh. so you don't think that we're crazy people we are true conservationists i'm talking like we love i love protecting wildlife i just want to eat love, pig i you, want we're ham. not eating these pigs oh you're not no, no you don't eat them. they're not we're good not, no trash these pig. are no they're trash pigs they're gross yeah, <laughs> trash pigs Tra yeah, trash yeah, trash, trash are they pig. why come on dude because they're disgust they're, they're they're like the rats of right but still the rats yummy, it's still yummy the pork and bacon dude. No, there's no, 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 there's no bacon. There's no fat on them. They're all muscle. No, no, they're all like worms and pesticide yeah, or pesticides and disease and rat poison. Oh, trash pigs, man. You like cut one open. There's like this weird blue meat. You're like, what is this? Like, oh, that they ate some poison. They ate some poison out of a field and like, oh, it just turned their meat blue. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't eat that part. Wow. God. And then you like cut a little bit more. And there's like maggots crawling out of their skin. You're like. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Zombie pigs. Trichinosis basically. and shit. They're, they're nasty. Scary. They're nasty. They're they're rats of Texas. And they 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 fucking breed at such an alarming rate. You can't you can't so shoot your way out of it. They they become fertile, so young, and they yeah. can have so many litters. And each one of the, uh, in a year, they can have multiple litters in a year. And then every one of the litters, they can have like eight, ten, twelve pigs. No, I, I watch I watch you on YouTube as they, they shoot them with night vision. Just they like, shoot them with everything, and, you, and and there's not enough. Like there's not enough shooters. We're not stopping them. They're still mass producing. It is wild. We went. I went python hunting in, in the Everglades because oh, it's a big right. thing. Yeah, we got an eleven footer. Did you? Really? Um, yeah. Dude, Did you it was fight it? Fucking great. It so was awesome. one of my dreams. It was on yeah. night, cool. I want to be riding in a motorcycle on over like this overpass over the Everglades. You know, there's like overpass yeah, over yep, overpass. Yep, yep. And I see, because you just see him for a heartbeat. Yeah, it's $1,000 if you get him too for the skin. And, I, and just like dun ditch my bike and free fall under the back. You don't know how big it is. It might be four feet. Yeah. It might be 40 feet. Yeah. And, and jump on the back. Splash. They're so the strong. They're all muscle. Yeah. You, get a, you get an 18 footer, you're going to have your hands full. Tim Kennedy, even Tim Kennedy's going to have his hands full. I said 40 feet, boy. 40 feet. I know it's not a 40 feet away, but uh, how would it yeah. kill, it <sighs> kill Tim by? Now, though, if you, I mean, it's, no, you're, you're going to grab him by his head, but away. they'll bite the fuck out of you. A big one, a fully grown, an 18 footer will they, bite Their heads so are bigger hard. than your head. No, they, they hit on that show, uh, the toughest bite or whatever on the <laughs> channel. Yeah. Last episode, season finale, they get bit by all these like bugs and shit. Yeah. Last one, they get bit by a python. Yeah. And the guy puts his arm, it destroys his foot. Python cowboy, I mean, he just, caught an 18 footer <laughs> in the Everglades, 18 feet. That's a giant, that's a lot that's of a giant snake. Bro, it bit him and, and opened an artery. Yeah, yeah. And he was, he was almost bled out. Yeah. And then he, he took him, he wrestled it. He's my size, not a guy your size, but it dragged him into the swamp. It took him an hour to wrestle. I think it's all on, it's all on YouTube. And it's on he, 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 he pulled him into the water? So right that's, the, that's what I'm scared of. Well, they're so they strong. So the, ele the 11 the footer, I couldn't fucking get. Well, what do you like, want? Just a thousand bucks? Well, that thing's worth a lot more. He, okay. That's how he makes his living. Oh, okay. But they're a major invasive species. They're a huge problem in the Everglades. Yeah. So they just pay people to go hunt them. All these invasive species, man, like they're fun to hunt, but people don't understand how damaging they are yeah. to to where they're going. You're like, yeah. in, in it, let's just say you're a duck hunter, 
and you're looking at what is happening along the Florida, um, Mississippi, Louisiana coastline and destroying the deer population. Raccoons. They're taking nutria. bobcats out. They're taking all they're, of They're destroying out. everything. The, Every. eco, the, the, the micro ecosystems of each of these respective yeah. little tiny states are just getting demolished by these finally, things. Finally, though, finally the animals, the birds of prey and stuff are starting to go. Play back. Hmm. Here's what's really fucked up. In Burma, they have 40 eggs. For whatever reason, the Everglades, they have 80. What? Yes. So now what they're doing, now the osprey and the hawks, they're going, you know what? Little bird on Those bird. are eggs. And now they're finally figuring out ah, there's food here. Okay. And now they go, those little snakes, that's food too. So they, you know. I went squirrel hunting in Nashville with hawks. The hawks would fucking catch. They just kept catching snakes. Are squirrels They kept a grabbing snakes. Huh? Are squirrels a problem in Nashville? No, but it was a thing I got for Valentine's Day, and you, you know, went hawk hunting. Yeah, you, you took hawks, hawks and hunted. Uh, yeah, and I felt Do bad. You need a hawk I didn't want to kill the squirrels because I'm not going to eat the squirrels, so I, I didn't like. So that. on my on my folks' property, we 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 massacre squir um, ground squirrels yeah. because. They they make holes. The horse step in them. The cow step in them. Oh, ground, ground squirrels. Ground, ground squirrels. Ground hogs. No, it's 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 a ground squirrel. Oh, it's right. an actual squirrel. Yeah, that it's lives a squirrel that lives in the ground. Yeah, and uh, they, it looks like a groundhog. Yeah, but no, it looks like a tree squirrel that lives in the ground. Big bushy tail. Yep. Oh wow. You yeah. hunt. You hunt. Yeah. Yeah, they're right there. You're a hunter. Also kind of looks yeah, like yeah. a chipmunk. Tim? That oh, look at the yeah. number number three is like the, the most akin. Yep, that's the right one. And that yeah, yeah, yeah. the big fat one. Oh man. Look how to control ground squirrels. Dude, all, that but, guy right but, there. He's that, cool what, have you, what animals that have you right killed? But all, just, well, no. I, this might, we might have to add this out. But also, if you think about a squirrel, they have those big bushy tails, kind of like a peacock. Squirrels are just like transgender rats. <laughs> They're just like... You have to edit that out, Chen. Do you? Yeah. I don't know. Do we have to edit that out? No, I don't I think fantastic. so. fantastic. Yeah, I think it's a beautiful setup. It's a fantastic... Sediment. Um, observation. I just think it's an honest observation, and <laughs> I don't think it's... And if people are offended... Transgender activists are probably not watching The Fighter and the Kid, and they're probably not reading Scars and Stripes. But if they do. <laughs> I hope they, they do. do. Yeah. I, I hope I they read it. I think there's some yeah. great t takeaways for all race religions. Not that pretty... That, yeah. like, that guy. Mm. I hate that guy right there. Man, that guy's going to... No. no. Yeah, he's he's going to break my horse's yeah, leg. He's fucking kill him. One of my steer... Man, we, we did this uh, rib roast a couple of nights ago that was one of the steer on my dad's property. Like, we raised it. Yeah. Grain fed the last 90 days. It was grass fed its whole entire life. Wow. You know, it's like walking around with wild tule elk, wild pigs, you know, up in, in yeah. Monterey County, California. Yeah. And uh, and then for my my niece's high school graduation, which happened this weekend, we cooked a rib roast from one of our well, from one of our cows. It's rad. It was That's delicious. Cool. Oh, so good. You know what one so sport, sporting event Tim can't do? Football. There's lots. Well, there's but there's Football. one thing he's not That's good at. Sure. Right. He's not a football. football. No, you get the leg. He can't throw a ball. So, guess what? You learned, Brian Callen. <laughs> Let me tell you how wrong I am. Do what I just did on this book tour. I threw the first pitch what, for one did of. You, uh, did you hit the catcher's mitt? A? No, so like a? It was triple A. Like uh, like right before they go to the pros. Yeah, yeah. It was like harder, the harder than it looks, right? Well, I'm not going to dignify that question, which was kind of insulting with the response. <laughs> I'm going to go a different route here. I took yeah. me one day. I threw a 62 mile an hour fast bar. Oh good. shit! And uh, that's I, almost as I fast took, as I throw. I took a day to learn how to do the whole wind up, how to on the pitcher's mound, how to place your foot on that little rubber bar thing. Yeah, because you're up on a yep. yeah. you're a mound. And you can like yep. don't whip yourself. Like this. And you can use the gravity to fling it. Yep. What is that? Oh. Oh no. I don't know. Oh, I just look at you. <laughs> I just posted. You are so. You're a gorgeous man. <laughs> what, what are those He's little hippos? Stuff. Those are hippos. He's the man why, why are those little hippos yeah. in your bath? Because that's in the bathtub. Um, so I have a lot in common with hippos. I, I, I think they're my spirit animal. When I yeah. look at all the similarities, like if you did a Venn diagram between Tim Kennedy and a, and a hippo, like they like the water. Kill true. Kill they're a lot thick. Of people. Yeah, they're you thick. Know, they're thick. Yeah. They Who's like sense? their family. They're kind of territorial. Sure. Yeah. You know, they're they'll murder you. They'll yeah. murder you. You know, um, you, you you mess with their family, they're gonna it's take on. it's on. They're gonna kill you and everything near you. Have you ever seen like the videos of an alligator that gets into a group? Oh, the crocodile, yeah. Yeah, they're yes. like, you just see like a parked yeah. alligator flying through oh, the yeah. air. Well, how about the how about the gazelle? The gazelle's trying to run away from the fucking wild dogs. <laughs> the gazelle's like, these wild dogs, I'm gonna I'm just gonna sit in the water I'm a little bit. Come down to the and water. the hippo's over here. And he's like, I'm just gonna hang out here because they're trying to eat me if you don't mind. And the and the hippo was like, 
Well, here's the problem. You're in my, my water. It's my water. Yeah. You're, a, you're a fifth street. Bites it around the fucking neck and yeah. just... Yeah. And then they just toss just it. Just drowns yeah. it. Or they stomp them out. Oh, yeah. God. I enjoy good stomping. Brutal. So, uh, so you're baby hippo. There's a... There's, yeah, I just, I just I sympathize with them. Yeah. And they get, they, they get a bad rap also. Yeah. That's another they kill thing. the most humans out of any Yeah, they kill a lot of people. Besides mosquitoes, yeah. Yeah. You like the way this feel? They feel so good. They feel nice. The, yeah. he, is good. He, he should be your model for the sandals. I swear to God. Toes, Did you think my feet holes. are okay with that though? I I, I love because I got that. I got the rust. I got the been wearing too many wrestling shoes. Yeah, know? so it goes in. Yep. You no, know, wrestling but, shoes are, are are really you you wear them really tight. Well, that's yeah. why I want your feet. I want your toes splayed. That's what I. That's why I wear. But, but he, because you see how yours are like skinny and dainty, and then his are like. Thick. He's got he's got troll feet. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what you want for your model. Yeah. Who are the people that like have obsessions with feet? There's a, a whole oh, subculture. Yeah. Foot fetish. Oh, dude, foot foot fetish. Fetish. What are you looking at him for? Well, because we, there was a lady in his seat named Kat. She started OnlyFans of her feet. She made so much money. She she quit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, people love feet. That's dude. wild. She made so much yeah. money. I'm not, I, if, I, if I start a fans only for my feet, dude, people would be like, I, oh, we, I we, should, we should hire you as our model. I Tim said, Kennedy mount, models foothold. Yeah, you want people to you know not buy your sandals? These? You know who owns nine pairs? Tim, uh, I mean, uh, Andy Stumpf. He's getting Don't married. And he, he, in ordered, he, ordered, he ordered a bunch of... Blue crocodile, saltwater crocodile. I, I don't know if I can. Uh, for his wedding, all, his whole wedding party are wearing blue. That is they're, so fucking, cool. they're all wearing toe holes. I hate him. I'm supposed to go hunting with him. Still haven't hunted with him. I'm supposed to go on a podcast. Haven't been on podcast. He's opening a black rifle. Yeah, I didn't get the invite. I don't know if it's open yet. I don't know. I didn't I'm, I'm supposed to, I've, only, I've only done jujitsu with him one time when he came to Austin and I had to have him come to my gym yeah. for him to do jujitsu with what me. What belt is he? He's a purple belt, I think. He's not at Tim's level, but yeah. No. It's tough. No, I don't know. You can't say that anymore because I'm in a room where everyone's better than me. So I don't are know. You like, though, are you being you're a modest? Black belt, though. Wait, wait. Yeah. Well, compared to those guys, that's all they do, though. That's their that's language. All they do. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, mean, you, I like that you're design. trying to insinuate that I'm being humble. I've seen you and hang modest. With everybody. I'm saying I can. Ha There's a difference between hanging. Yeah. And then like Gordon and Ryan being like, hey, I mean, I'm going to roll with you because I'm cool. Bill. Different thing, right? Yeah. Gordon Ryan, Ryan? freak. Gordon Ryan, right. like when he rolls with me, he rolls with me to be cool, but he could kill me at any moment. Yeah, he's, that, he's, he's so mind. He's our LeBron James of jiu-jitsu. Levels, of, levels of the game, yeah. You but man, him? Yes. No, but then, but then you got like the Stephen Currys who go and they'll, they'll hit an outside shot on, on LeBron James. Yes. Nobody's going to hit an outside shot no. on Gordon Ryan. Nobody. Nobody's going to do it. No. There's nobody that's going to touch him. There's nobody that's going to score a point on him. It's He'll so walk weird. up and hand this you know, Fabio dude over here with like, this is how I'm going to choke you. Yeah, you he'll you hand it to you. He'll go and hand it to the refs and then he'll go beat him he's with that so move. Beat, so without, because he gets modest, but I've seen him tie up some really good guys. You, be honest. Yeah. Be honest. Okay. Like he's, he's been not, a black belt not, for thirty years. Yeah, he's not doing right? that to you. Thirty years. Uh, fifteen. No. I've been a black belt for no, fifteen years. I know years. how good he is as a grappler. So my feeling is that so he can do that to you. Yeah. Gordon, Gordon Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, everybody being, in this room. You just don't know the levels of jiu-jitsu. Uh, I've seen like, it a little no, bit. I'm telling you, not Gordon Ryan. Yeah. At a high level. And even like what? What is it? Just his just it's, the hierarchy of of he, he's the tip of the spear, yeah. and he he makes a living off. I just that feel like a guy sport. who's seen that much, like you guys have seen that. Doesn't much. work like that. It does. That's all he does. It's literally all yeah. he's consumed in it. Fuck. It's just, but it's all he does. Yeah. And everyone on the mat is like that. Everybody on the mat is like that. No, no, real quick. Cool. That that how about, how about him? He's teaching uh, a sheepdog response. Yeah. I was watching on YouTube. And he gets the guy and he's like this. He, he takes his finger and he goes, you're blind. You're never seeing your kids again. You're, I'm like, Tim, you know, but that's, that's real funny. Yeah. He's got the guys. He goes like this. He's teaching the class. He goes, if I see anybody pull garden here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you right through the fucking wall. Uh, pulling garden? He's just beating so up on guys. So this is like life stuff. Jiu-jitsu sports jujitsu guys will come in so i was in new york teaching a, a self-defense course and we had guns like training guns and knives all over the mat and this henjo gracie guy dives underneath and is oh. trying to grab a leg lock and i'm sitting here with a gun and he's still like digging trying to get an angle to try to get a hill hook and i'm just like with the gun <laughs> tapping him on the forehead yeah and he like looks up and he like you see the focal shift from like my face to the gun and then like back to my face and then you see the realization He's like dead. it actually you connects your head the myelin uh, like the the neuro I'm receptors used so used to yeah. going for jumping for knees yeah and, and i'm sitting here tapping him on the head with a gun and he's still like trying to play with my ape legs and uh, he like looks up he's like oh like yeah man that's not gonna work no. your happy place is not good here so there yeah. is a big when we're talking about tearing tactical and shooting, can the sport shooter become a combat shooter? Yeah. Absolutely. The huge overlap, tons of great shoot, um, sport shooters become combat shooters and combat shooters also compete in sports. 
Could a really great grappler transition and be a really great MMA fighter? Absolutely. Sure, yeah. Could a really great MMA fighter go and hand him a brick and become a savage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but but guys that become so pigeonholed into like the exclusivity yeah. of the sport aspect, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. To that uh, point, across all the yep. like, like those guys are diehard jiu jitsu guys go to MMA and they don't work on the other stuff and yep. it's just jiu jitsu. Yep. They get. Yeah. I mean, Hadolfo, Vieira, uh, Bouchesha, Crone uh, Gracie, like you look at the tip of the spear guys, Hadra Gracie. Yeah. They, to you that, know, to, if to you your, can't do all of it, you're gonna, no. you're gonna get, eventually you're going to come along and you're going to get fucked up. To your point, like, you know Tony Blauer? Oh, yeah. Tony's a buddy of mine. And Tony Tony was teaching, uh, so this this air marshal was grouping shots, just ba -ba -ba, just an amazing shot with a pistol, right? And Tony goes, okay, good, good. Now he gets behind him and he goes, now I want you to do the same thing. And go ahead, but at some point I'm going to hit you. And the guy was like, "What?" Like, he, goes, he, goes, yeah. he goes, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna I hurt you. No, he goes, I'm not gonna hurt I you, but this. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna grab you somewhere. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna hit you in their back at some point. But just go ahead and do the Is same that thing." Is that or like well, simulate it's real that life. people running it's, it's past you? So, so guess it, what? It, now the guy, the guy, he can group air marshals. He'll know they can group any pop, pop, pop. They can just see right. And now he does the same thing. His shots were fucking all, all over the place. place. And, you and added never one external. Never you added one external consideration. You 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 take a guy out of a vacuum that can perform just in the parameters of what's yes. like he's comfortable with. Yeah. Can that like if I take a racehorse, uh, you know, get somebody getting ready to go to the Derby. I've been talking the the most elite thoroughbred racehorse, and I take him to war. What's going to happen to that horse? He's not going to be the fast horse. No, he's going to be dead. Out, yeah. He's going to be dead. Like he's going to go. He doesn't he get that no good clue. warm up. Yeah. He didn't get his good grains, yeah. you know, and and the steroids. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't have any of it, and it's it's broken in a heartbeat, and that that is it's performing in a very specific way, in a very specific modality, in very specific considerations, in very specific conditions. S like similarly with the, like the the combat shooter or the fighter, like or the sports jujitsu guy, if he doesn't have the all of the conditions right for him to be at his best. Like, is he is he really that useful yeah. in the combat sense? Yeah. Well, in your book, when you had a guy's body, you're whole, you're trying to save a life. They're shooting at you. You don't have this. You're not doing this. You have one hand yeah. trying to squeeze off rounds. No, I had my sniper rifle. I had an SR twenty five sniper rifle with a suppressor sitting <laughs> on the end of it with a twelve to twenty a pound long optic. Stick. Yeah, I'm like I'm like this as these dudes are running across as I'm carrying a half a body that's dumping bile blood and poop all over me and uh, that was bad yeah. yeah bad thumbs down yeah. thumbs, thumbs down, down to that on moment. that huh no, my, no. I can't sell the, say the dude's name yeah. his name is Mike K <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Mike K was sitting on a Mod Deuce 50 cal machine gun on the back of a Humvee and when I jump out and I run down to the Humvee that just got blown up and I'm dragging this guy's body out. I didn't want to go down there, by the way. This other guy, Irish, ran down there to get these guys out. And I, I was like, don't do this. this is no, please. No. Yeah. And he goes anyways, because he's a total hero. And so I didn't want him to go by myself. So I go with him and we get down there. And when you have an ambush, you have a kill zone. And we were on the kill zone. We got blown up. Everybody pretty much died. The few of us that made us off the kill zone, we are now running back down into the kill zone, which is not where you want to go. Yeah. The last thing that you do in an ambush is you assault. If you're the one initiating the ambush, you assault across the ambush line, killing whatever is left there. So we run down to try and rescue the guys that are on the kill zone. And I'm trying to pull his body out. And these guys, the Taliban, the Iranian, um, we I called them freedom fighters in the book. And I really regret that I called them yeah, that yeah, because I know. that's what they call themselves. They're not fighting for freedom. They're no, not. They're just they're assholes. Opposite, right? yeah. yeah, just horrible people. But they're highly trained in they are. operatives. And funded by Iran. Yeah. And... Uh, Suleimani, who we killed um, a couple of years ago, yeah, he was the guy that was funding them. Yeah. So I get this body out, and I'm trying to get this guy, and I can't get my gun around. I'm going to die for sure. And Mike K, with the 50 cal, he, I don't, divine intervention. He was able to weave bullets that are like this. I felt like I was getting hit with Chuck Liddell overhand rights as these rounds were flying past my face. Because you can feel the, the energy? The overpressure as these rounds are going around and through us and between us and <laughs> vapor. Like there was, there was a bunch of Taliban's over here. And then there weren't. And it wasn't like in the movies where it was like pink mist. I'm just saying they they evaporated. They yeah. just disappeared That's how strong off the 50 face cal of the planet. Machine gun. That's yeah, what it does. 50 cal machine gun. And he wasn't but like a hundred meters from me. <gasps> Threading rounds. That, as that accurate. What a badass. Was he a special forces guy too? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. My <laughs> Yes. Yes, he civilian, was. Yeah. But he's just, he's also a civilian. Yeah. I love you, bro. Fuck love you. Man. Thank you for saving us. Yeah. That is fucking what a well, over, over pressure because the one I never thought about this either. 
you you had such a concussion from just the sounds and the I guess when bullets are close to you they they move matter or the, like they they what do they do they displace wow, air shit. yeah so when you're shooting a sniper bullet you can uh, so as as the bullet is traveling through the air you can see the air be displaced Jesus by that bullet Christ. so let's just say I'm shooting a seven six two seven six two by five one a point three oh eight so that's a one hundred seventy five grain bullet that's, that's traveling at twenty six hundred and fifty feet yeah, per second yeah, yeah. so that is a chunk of metal that's one hundred seventy five <laughs> grains traveling at almost three thousand feet per second. How much vapor is that going to displace? Yeah. You know, how much air is going to be moved? Air oh, has God. matter in it. Yes. Right? So as that matter is moving, like dust you, we everything. call it trace. The, the vapor trail of that bullet, I, I can see exactly where that bullet is going to go. Well, that is a bullet that is only 175 grains. You get up to like a 330, 338 Lapua. Now we're at a 250 grain bullet. You get up to a 50 cal. I'm talking like a bullet that is this big. Jesus. It's like a battery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah chucking a D cell battery Jesus at 3,000 feet per second. Yeah. You can, you can, you hit somebody at a mile away and they kind of. Mm. Yeah. Now, B, you were talking about him being your uh, model for yeah. uh, Toehold. Toehold. Now, here, here's a small problem. I don't know your guys' budget, but I'm his manager. Yeah. Okay. What the and fuck? This is, yeah, this I, I don't know if you know how much money Daddy makes. I need a couple. Yeah. Talk about it unless we got eight figures. I'm yes. Two commas. Right? Yes. You need two, two comma. Two commas. Two commas. Two commas. Two comma ten. Oh, sorry, that's um, uh, two comma ten. Hey, I'm, I'm the can, good guy around here. Can I get? Can I get video? Can I get video of you in? Can I get video of you in combat with those fucking things on? I love these so much. I can't wait to represent these. These are gonna be fantastic. Yep. Two comma ten. See, he loves them. They smell like saddle leather. They do. That's top grain leather. Two comma ten. Vegetable tan. Two comma ten. All natural. Two comma ten. You know what? You're fucking worth it. And by the time we sign the deal, he'll be on New York's bestseller. I'm already in. Okay, well, now we're talking about three comments. Two, two, two weeks what? in a row. That's three comments. What? No. Number one audio book on the planet still. I mean, what do you want to do? Okay, dude? well, can I, can I do a layaway plan? No. Yeah. I like this Harley. I like this badass version. Yeah. I'm scared. He'd actually be a good Could man. you imagine being on the opposite end of the table negotiating with Brendan Shaw? He's very good. Very good man. Actually, I give I'm, up a little, a I'm a little bit, I'm, I, I, it's a good cop, bad cop. I play bad cop because yeah. I hate everybody. Daddy has to be bad cop lately. Now I know. Boy, be bad cop. Yeah, you Mark's be bad. been on you those don't like calls. It. That sucks. Because I would always Brian, be the one. If I like crawled over Brandon and tried to kill you right now, yeah. who in this room would come to your defense? Well, first of all, <laughs> first might of all, jump out. First of all, what I would do is I would look in your eyes. I would get into the. I would get into your human <laughs> side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go, I go, I go, right? I go, I go, kill him, Tim. I go. I go, <laughs> right now. I go. I go. Love my children. Love my children. <laughs> Just accept that. I go. God bless America. You know what I do? This is the greatest story. Remember this, the 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 the, the uh, feudal. Shogun. He comes into the town. Everybody was supposed to leave the town when he would come in. His samurai would be following. His ronin would be following, and and he would kill everybody. Anybody who didn't have, pre they'd prepare food, have the town empty, and if you anybody was there, would be killed. One day he's coming in. This Buddhist monk is sitting there, and the Buddhist monk is in you know his lotus position, and he goes, "I'm not leaving." They go, Are "You out of your mind? He's going to kill you." And he goes, "I'm not leaving." He's in the middle of the road. The shogun comes up on his horse. His whole army behind him, and he looks at him and he goes. Uh, do you know who I am? I am the one who can cut you into a hundred pieces without batting an eye. And the Buddhist monk looks up and says, and I am the one who can be cut into a hundred pieces without batting an eye. Did he kill him? He didn't. He let him go. Oh. And that's what uh, I expect from the you. The story would have been cool if you did. Because that's yeah. hard. Dude. I'm going to go the other way. On. Yeah. Hold I'm going to go the other way. Look, dude. How are you going to fucking come at me right yeah. now? Yeah. Humanity in my without face. much effort. Dude, yeah. my heart is fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be so guilty. No, that, story, <laughs> that story makes Tim want to kill you more. Yeah. Do you, might, you know one time I was joking around. I said I said to him, I go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to grapple with Tim. And and he and you 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 thought I was serious. You went like this. You went no 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 like that. He goes no no he'll kill you. He'll, I was like I'm fucking joking, dude. I'm not gonna actually. We can't totally grapple though. Yeah, yeah. you could. Yeah, I'm a little delicate, Bob. I'm, I, you'll yeah. hurt my neck or something. I'll fuck his neck up. Jen, what are you doing? I'm just making sure if you guys do a fight. I'm gonna... Oh no. Yeah. I'm not gonna uh, fight no. Tim Kennedy. Yeah. See, Tim wants to. Tim wants to kind of. I do. He just kind of. He wants yeah. to waterboard me and beat <laughs> me up because I'm a, I'm just. I'm I'm just such a target right now. When I got to Calabasas, I was, I, I, he was looking for a gym. I was looking for a gym. I was like, I didn't bring a, a gi for nothing. I have all today, so I could wash my gi before yeah. I get to. And Jocko I'm poking tomorrow. the bear a little bit. I'm putting my fingers yeah, in I can there. Feel it. I know. You keep you try I, to keep giving me these backhanded. Compliments. I do it to him. Say a nice thing, but I'm like, I'm gonna hit you at the back of my yeah, hand. Some, he does to me. All I, I do it. To, sometimes I'll like slap it. his face, and then I slap his face again. Is your son in jujitsu? Oh yeah, yeah, loves it. Yep. Do he you, likes to cross more. Do you do you have a like when you go? Because I'll have to take my son jujitsu after this. Yeah. When the coaches are coaching. Do you ever have to step in? Nope. 
You just let it go? Yeah. I, so, I'll do it afterwards. I'm like, come here. Yeah, yeah. So That's exactly from how A I do to it. F. Let me show you how to get B, C, D, D, yep. E, you know? I, I had such a problem listening to my dad that my dad used the coaches as a way to actually communicate to his stupid son. Oh, interesting. And Because um, you would fight him? I, I was just so yeah. rebellious. Yeah. I was such a second born. I was so stubborn, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and, and you must so have been a pain in the ass. I have such respect for coaches there. I, I don't know if coaches really understand how important they are right now in this era. Agree. You know, in, in, in participation trophy and no, 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 no. no. I know you lost, but you did really great out there. No, you didn't. No. You know, like be a better, be a real coach and be like, do you know what? You didn't practice. You weren't doing your wall ball drills. Correct. You know, you weren't out. You didn't get here on time. You didn't do the warm up. You know, that's why. And then you're mad at me because you're not playing. Like those moments are so important right now. And uh, and so, I look at my son, even though he's a great, and even my daughter who's doing jiu jitsu, um, and I let the coach coach. And if I have to coach through the coach, I do that. But then if I need to give my son a little extra, okay, so a snap down isn't yes. you pull on the back of his neck. It's called a snap. Yes. Down. So you pop everything. the back of his yeah. neck and bounce his forehead off the mat. Yes. That's how you do a snap down. See, my, my, my son, he's, he's such a good listener. <laughs> he'll listen to me. He'll listen, he'll listen he's to me. He's getting to a T. It. To a T. Dude, that's awesome. I, I'll go uh, baseball grip when if someone has his back. I'm like two on one. Over, he listens have to, to you. He's coachable as fuck. fuck. T. Wow. T. Mm. That's coachable. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, mean, I was too dumb. Tim was talking to that. himself there. You snap his fucking neck down. <laughs> you take his face. You make soup. Yeah. You make soup you of do his make face. Soup. <laughs> like if his teeth are on the mat, success. There right. It is. Like some That's of the spinal, spinal fluid. Yes. You just, Fine. You're it's doing yellowish this to his face. color. It's kind of creamy. <laughs> yeah. It gets intense. Yeah, that's right. See, you're looking at me like I'm fucking a gazelle, and you're alive. You keep yeah. looking at him. You acting. You look a little carnivorous right now, dude. Well, I, we, don't, we don't like your initial offer from Toehold. I, I didn't even give it all. I'm just saying. I Hillary Clinton man. numbers. Bump them numbers up. I, I'm going to bump it up. I just want your feet to spray out a little. You're you, you're wearing shoes that are bunching your toes. I need them. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I'm, I am looking. For, I'm gonna wear those other shoes too. Those are nice. Yeah, some dunks. I don't. Work. I actually don't own like a pair of nice shoes like that. I figured you didn't. Hopefully I don't own they one, work, dude. That was fun. They felt fantastic. Yeah, I love it. So when I have to cover my feet, because I think I'll not be allowed to, like New York. You don't wear sandals in New York. No. It's frowned upon. Uh -huh. I well, don't even like it. I wouldn't want to wear sandals in New York. No. Looking at their streets. Yeah, you can get for sure. Disgusting. You can get AIDS back when you're 22. You, yeah, get, you can them get it in now. York, at whatever sandals. age I am at now. Yeah, oh, New we're York, on the New York is back to being clean. We're on the I'm going to be there this weekend. You, it's back to being clean? I think When's the so. last time you went there? No. I was just there, but Really? I was, I was there. Is there still? Uh, no, I would no. say no. Yeah. It's filthy. It's better than it was. Be better COVID. than what? COVID, COVID was done. all fucked up. Yeah. No, it's oh, definitely yeah. Yeah. There's so much like money in Times Square is so much tough. fucking money. There's definitely places that are super nice. Goddamn, Greece was nice. Fuck. Greece is like... Yeah, seg new, great, great, great segue away from New York into Greece. <laughs> the, de <laughs> the delta between those two are, are is gigantic, profound, well, and significant. I just was rereading like, parts of your book, and I'm in Greece, and I felt like the, and on a yacht, and I felt like the biggest like, bitch. Yeah, just a bitch. I, I know. Is, are there nice, nice parts of uh, Afghanistan? Yes, there is. Yeah, really nice parts. Yep. Tell them the story about. Just can you take us through the, what you've been through this firefight? You've, it, it's been the most horrific thing. Yeah, it's bad. You're, you're coming back into the valley of death. Yep. You know you're going to be ambushed again, and then you you get he's the, you get they, ambushed again. They get ambushed again. <laughs> People die. They, it's, it's it's the same shit. And and I'll take it from there. To, it's an amazing story. three day gunfight to get into this fob. We kind of refit, reload, fight our way back out. Gunfight again, but this time we were a little bit more aggressive in what our response was going to be. So like when the at, when the ambush was initiated we already had a 10 warthogs pre-positioned for gun runs yeah. so as like the ambush starts the ambush line is defined a 10 goes and just like again vaporizes everything fight our way out and um we make into this village and as we're driving through this pass this really narrow pass there's this lone tree i mean right out of sleepy hollow yeah. horror story this old nasty tree and there's a dead rotting body hanging from the tree i was like this could could essentially summarize my past week right here this is perfect cool i'm gonna experience more of the same horrors that i've experienced for the past week and i roll into this video or into this village and all of these people start coming out beautiful they look asian russian Pretty much every invading nation that has been in this country is 
genetically in these people. Yes. Uh, green eyes, red hair, freckled faces, you know, almond shaped eyes, gorgeous, just stunning looking people. And uh, the women are like looking at me, like looking at me. Looking at a lichen. No, like humans. Oh, gotcha. You know, all the other villages, they're totally covered. They wouldn't look at you because like we're the invading, not what was happening, but that's how they treated yes. us. And this old man walks up and hugs me. And it was the first time that an Afghan had had any physical contact with me that wasn't trying to murder me. Jeez. Did you stab him in the neck? <laughs> no, I cried. I, I start crying. I cried. <laughs> start crying. I'm sorry. The I dead thought, hanging thought body was, was well, a, a Taliban kid came body. Out and touched your hand first, right? And oh, there was a Taliban body. They hung a Taliban oh, body wow. at the entrance to the village, being like, "If you come in here, you're either going to have to kill all of us." Or you're gonna have to step over our dead bodies and piles of brass to get to the next person behind us. Because they had they had guys positioned and all, all around us. And they so were I saw all a these, farming town, town. Yeah, it was total agriculture. They had as if we went back a thousand years. Wow, there was what tiered a cool little town. It was gorgeous. So Shangri La is like this mythical city in the Himalayas that you know does or doesn't exist, and you don't get old there. There's no there's no violence. There's no war. Um, you know there's no theft. There's no rape. There's no murder. Yeah, and and that's what it felt like going into this little village. And it was just people wanting to live. They wanted to be left alone. And there was, there was a statement of that at the front entrance. Yeah, like we don't support this. Yeah. Wow. You come in here, I'm going to hang your, your, your corpse from the tree. And they gave you like food, right? Like pomegranates yeah. and shit. Yeah. And like, yeah. And, you know, growing up in, in Central California, we had pomegranates, trees on yeah. our property. So you're like, again, the brain, that spectrum of, you know, having roots in hell and, and, and finally like feeling and touching humanity, uh, you know, tasting a pomegranate and being thrown back to a childhood and remember the memories of my dad trying to like mentor, nurture young men about what it was going to be like as I'm eating this pomegranate and this old man is like, you know, it's because he could see, he's probably, he'd probably he, seen he Russians. He'd seen probably seen the British. He'd seen it all. Yeah. He'd, you know, he's obviously yeah. seen the Taliban. You know, and hell, he, he might have been old enough to know Genghis Khan. Yeah, yeah and he and when you start crying in his arms, that, that he must he just held on to you. It just just held. I, I start crying, and that's you start weeping I like crying. I did in yeah. Austin. Yeah, just like it's, you know, you 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 bury stuff, and but it's still in there. Yeah, and I, I don't know how people access that after war, um, you know. But this guy just by like one touch, that did it. He just <laughs> fuck opened dude. it up. I was and like, we're all I love you, humans. Like we're all you crying or just you. some of us were just like, what is going on? Some guys were still like, are we about to? Is this about to go down? Yeah. yeah. Like, why are these people getting close? They got a bomb vest on. Yeah. You know, like, are they, are they gonna wear my skin tonight when I go yeah. to sleep? Jesus Christ. And and yeah. and how long were you in that village? It's not long a, enough. I should stay there cool, forever. Yeah, it's such a cool fucking chapter. Like yeah. it was such an unexpected. It's almost like you you stepped into the sh Shire. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, Bill Baggins comes running out. He's yeah. like, yeah, I'm going to give well, you Well, what, what I thought was really cool is that there is humanity. There is great humanity in hell. Like, you can find the oasis. You can in find the situation. harbor in the tempest, yeah. you know? Yeah, like right now when people are struggling with everything, abortion is happening right now. You know, of all these shootings just happen. Yeah. Like, you know, inflation, the, the 2020 or the 2022 midterm elections, and everybody's like, blah, blah, blah. Like, first... Like we're humans. Yeah. Second, we're Americans. Let's just just take a breath and and be cool. Yeah, be cool. It's that. It's, but you're cool. talking like as a guy who touched so much violence. You know, that's that's wisdom. You know, it's like it, it makes you in some ways harder but softer, right? Yeah. People throw around revolution both sides right now, and it's like <laughs> they have no idea. <laughs> you people. <laughs> you people. <laughs> they, they, they've never you. they've never been punched in the face. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, you people. You people. <laughs> well, that's what I was saying about when I heard these kids, and they were kind of on college campus and saying we need a violent overthrow of the system. And I was like, you kids have never done a sp contact sport. Yeah. You have no idea. And there are guys like you out there. And if you yeah, you if don't you wake in that cage. beast, dude, what? Oh, no, they have no idea. It's, it's like, just ignorance is It's bliss. like people who think that, like, the guy asked me how I do in a fight against you. He really did. He goes, Was you're a drop? black belt. In, you wrestle in high school. And you're a black belt in Taekwondo. You box. And they go, how would you do against Brennan if you really went at him? I go, is that a serious question? A professional heavyweight UFC fighter who played pro football? Uh, you know, hey, but if, if, you don't, if you've hey, never done it, you don't hey, know. Remember that rich guy at the Cannes Film Festival who wanted to get a single leg on me? Dude, he, he was <laughs> super rich and he gets up on. I think his wife. A lot of like, guys. Wanted to hook up. I don't know what's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. Hook up with yeah. you or. Yeah, yeah. she wouldn't quit staring at me. Yeah. I was like, oh my Alpha God. male, alpha male, like but this. small. Little guy. Yeah. Small. The rich guy in the room. And yeah. very, very wealthy. And 
just decided he gets up on the table. Little dinner. Yeah. Gets on the table and he goes like this. Let's go. Let's go. And Brendan's going. You got to just tell him to stop. Get him away from me. I was so. I'm gonna nervous. have to do something. It's so embarrassing. I said, I go different route. It's like, hey, rich guy. Um, you get a single leg. I'll do your wife. Uh, yeah. If I stuff you, you give me that watch. Yeah, that's what I should have. That's good. I this was is, so this is the evil of me. Yeah. This is why politics is out because like, good. Uh, I don't I still think get so, those, dude. I still got those roots have, in hell. I think you could run. I no. think I no, really we do. About you, no, because you have to compromise in politics. You have to. I, no, to I can't somewhere. do it. But it's all in that book. You can't compromise. No, no you don't book. compromise. No, like, that's why for the book tour, went to DC to do like the the book launch was at the Library of Congress, and literally just stood up and walked away from people. It could, otherwise, I would have committed. Oh, because they were it, were they? What is it like a, an assault in yeah. Virginia? If I like just take somebody's face off, um, it's called uh, yeah, it's, it's called face a face assault. I think that's removal. a crime. Yeah, I think that's removal. But here's the thing: I think that's <laughs> in any city. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not just Virginia. So there are two options. If you peel there. their face off if you just if you scatter, assault, you right? make a small yeah. incision and just you pull the yeah, face yeah. down. Get up assault in every and, city. and like leave the room. Yeah. Or face off. Were you getting yeah. that kind of shit from people? No, they wanted no, they, stuff. Yeah, they wanted. To talk they were like, hey, you know, if you if you got this Wait. issue that I want you to like talk about, they you want know? to be the poster boy of whatever agenda they're trying to push. Them. Oh, Give and uh, it will make like a donation, oh, you know. Wow. And I was like. So you'll donate to a group trying to save people's lives in exchange for me doing this thing for you. Wow. First of all, you're a horrible human. Yeah. Second, I'm going to take your face. Yeah. And third, uh, he is two comma ten though. They're like, we heard you two comma ten. Two comma ten. Comma ten. <laughs> two comma ten. Yeah. You're, a toe, yeah. you're a toe yeah, my, my, my agent wasn't and, there. And, and so I, yeah, I couldn't even talk about it. If I was there, yeah, I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Off the table. You guys pissed him off, but <laughs> donate to Brendan Yeah. <laughs> You guys are working. I'll push the agenda. I'll talk to the, I'll talk to the powers that be. Uh, do we current events or no? Are we good? It's up do to you guys. Current events? What do you guys I love do? this shit. Is there anything to talk about with Tim? Current events. Tim? I mean, you guys already covered like Roe versus Wade being overturned, right? Yeah, we. Basically. I also have no input um, on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like people. Can people just like be people? Yeah, the, yeah. whatever yeah. women want to do. I'm, yeah, I'm like board freedom with. about yeah. everything. Same. See, this is like the hypocrisy of like all these people. Like, no, no, freedom. Like, right to bear arms. You know, freedom of speech. You like, you know, no, the Patriot Act. You be like, heaven forbid, you make sure other people have freedoms that you're not comfortable with. Yeah. So this is why I'm just like a freedom first about everything. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. Right. Like, if you want to smoke weed, awesome. Like, I will fight for your right to smoke weed. Like, you want to identify as whatever, cool. Yep. I, I'm going to be a hypocrite if I'm going to sit here and be like, I want all my freedoms, but you can't if have If you yours. want to marry somebody of the same sex, I, I'll fight all, yeah. for that. Yeah. You know, like, I'll bait, I'll the, bait the you. The Roe versus change. Wade thing, it, it's more of a constitutional thing, so, right? Because so, the founding fathers like, no, no, no that's there, not in there. Yeah, there are two things just to educate people. One is that that... The, the idea was it's been the law for 50 years. And what that means is that usually the Supreme Court almost always goes with what's called precedence, which means that it is, it, is a, it, is a, it was a law that was passed that has become in many ways ingrained in the law of the land, okay? So precedence was, you hear the word a lot, precedence was it's, it's an issue that in fact is law. There's no point in overturning it. 75% of Americans you know, support it. Sure. And every one of the confirmations of these conservative justices essentially said that, Amy Comey Barrett and the other two. They basically were like, the, the, the law is precedence and it would it's be- It's a state by it's state. It's not really my job and it's kind of been settled. Yeah. Of course, what with Justice Thomas, who is a staunch and strict constitutionalist so that's the black it, guy right yes so so if you look at scalia and the conservatives there are two ways to interpret the constitution one is it is not a living document it is a fixed document if you if you start interpreting it and you start you start making it malleable to your political position it loses its its strength yeah. so the idea was they said wait a minute roe v wade is not in the constitution it is not a constitutional issue. That's a dicey therefore, thing Therefore, right? Well, therefore, it is a state issue. State by state. So the state now, it, the battleground becomes the state. Okay? So the state has to, it's really left up to the state legislature. And, 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 and as like happen. a small government person, yeah. I love that it's a state issue, but I also hate that like, just like we're three dudes talking about like women's reproductive they're, health. They're a traitor. They're, they're, they're right. Like, That's how I feel. I'm very but, uncomfortable But then if you take away it. this and then what's next, you know, like because gay marriage isn't in there. So is it well, is so gay here's, marriage here's, me state so, by state? So, so they just, so yes, they're going to bring that up and they're going to bring up contraception. That's guys. the problem. Uh, of course That's, it is. It's, it's a slippery got, slope. You've got, you've but got, I also don't want federal government mandate. Like I live in Texas for a reason. As, as Californians are leaving, fleeing the state for freedom. Yeah, keep going. but, yeah keep going but then you know texas then is like okay well am i a freedom state first if i'm going to limit 
access to women's reproductive health care if I'm going to not allow so like that's that's where it's, it is so it's, nuanced it's so it's part of the American experiment and what's going to happen is oof. you're going to have states that that you're going to have abortion terrorism uh, uh, tourism if you will uh, they're going to be a lot that doesn't of, sound like uh, a good idea they're, they're, well they're going to be a lot, happen, of, a lot of corporations to. are already are saying we will pay for your leave and for you to get Disney the medical Netflix help you need. A, a lot of a lot of corporations are. Yeah, so a chalk mouth. They're just thinking about on. I know it's going to be a uh, fucking it's, battleground. It's a shit show. But here's the biggest problem: it's the awesome. people that can't afford to leave the state. Yes. Poor people, people of color, communities of color. They're the ones they're going to have that are going to have children that are they they can't afford children. Yeah. And I know people are like, well, it's their responsibility. I get it. I'm all about personal people responsibility. Make like everybody in this fucking room yeah like everybody in this fucking room so I, my, my thing is are you gonna t you guys are not gonna take care of those children those children are gonna have to find some you know a home somewhere i, I it's a very uh, i wish they would have just left it yeah well so do i and then i wish but they would have i wish they would have done it now it's a, but the, the, for people this is a very this is a religious issue it's an uncompromising issue for a lot of people and they believe that the sanctity of life begins at contraception that's a huge thing conception. or the heartbeat as soon as there's a heartbeat so in six weeks you can Eight you weeks. can you can six weeks Eight you can weeks. sense a heartbeat so it's the heartbeat law so in texas once you can detect a heartbeat it would be illegal to get an abortion no matter what yes incest everything yes and that's what's going to happen raped, oh by the way and rape and incest uh, uh, come on so i have a huge problem yeah, that's a problem and we're sh the three bros here aren't going to figure it out. That's why. I, that's <laughs> right. why I've always been pro-choice. Ten minutes on the couch, and and, yeah. and we like break it down. I'm a little fucking. Bit. I'm pro-choice, but here's a, you, this. You can speak to this. Like the the, <laughs> the 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 other Supreme Court decision was, it is unconstitutional to say to somebody you're not allowed to carry a gun. This is a New York. Well, so again, if I'm going to be freedom first, I got to be yeah. freedom first. Yeah. And there's nobody's going to be able to tell me how. Or when I'm going to be able to protect right. my family? Do you believe? Do you believe that people should take a course and learn about? I think firearms? it's the individual responsibility. Okay. Like if I'm going to carry a firearm, yeah. I have to be trained. I have to be competent in using it. But people won't. People well, don't. They, yeah. But they it, should be right. But they you should be other things. Like you have to, to do that for a car. car. Yeah. Drive a car. Uh, a bunch of stuff. And we're going to get a lot of. By the way, just 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 saying in this country, on this podcast, just saying that people should probably take a course. We're I'm going to get. 50,000 emails or whatever like you're fucking pussy. Attention. Am I saying no, you have to I'm mandate saying, it? It's a, it's a very emotional I don't know issue. but what I'm saying is that I'm saying I don't for, know. For me to carry a gun I want to be competent in using this gun. Me too. Is it the government's job to tell me how I can protect my family? Absolutely not. No. Like it's if you're gonna be like hey life. you can't carry a gun you can't carry at this place at this time Sorry, man. But see, this that, is my family. I'm gonna, I'm gonna protect them how I want. Yeah, because you guys aren't gonna do it. You're, I know yeah. you're not gonna. But do see, it. That, exactly. I've called nine one one, and who came? Nobody. Yeah. You know, like that's I, I know trying, that that's what I was coming. trying to explain to people who are a hour and eight, twenty right. something minutes. I know. Ugh. I was nobody. Say, I was trying to say Dude. to people who are who are super gun control, like LA, uh, fanatics. Call time. Yeah, eight, eight minutes. Eight minutes. That you're dead. Eight minutes. Everybody's dead. Well, the cop told me because I had an issue at my house years and years ago. The cop goes, it's about eight minutes our average time. He goes, so we tell everyone you need to be able to fight for eight minutes. Eight minutes. Now, fighting in the UFC, I go, you, I looked at him, you know how long eight minutes is? He goes, yeah, but you would be fine. I go, I'm fine. Try the sprinting majority for eight people, minutes. people, eight minutes, dude. Fighting for your life? They're fucked. Yeah. Eight Everybody's minutes. fucked. Yeah. I mean, I, I, that'd take me, I'd have to, I'd, I'd need, I probably couldn't keep you off my back. It would take at least seven minutes. I'd, no. you know. Well, by eight, they're going to get it. By eight, though, I'm going to get <laughs> choked out, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> what else you got? Sticking my finger yeah. in the cage. Are we doing current events? Yeah. Okay. Look at Tim's body. What a dick. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. You guys That's want to talk about the guy. trans uh, rule in swimming? Are they banned? Uh, the international governing body uh, banned transgender swimming after the NCAA. That just I agree with sense. this. I agree that, with this. this. I mean, yeah. No, I don't think I, as a father males. of three daughters. Yeah. And uh, do you know how mad I would be if my daughter got lost her scholarship? Yeah, lost her scholarship. Got el eliminated from a national competition yeah. or going to the Olympics. Or your second. <sighs> or or loses, loses her All-American status, doesn't make the yeah. Olympics. Well, that's, that's what happened to that girl. She, yeah. she was All-American for three years. Her senior year, she gets bumped out of it because the transgender girl finished ahead of her. And she's like, this isn't right, man. Yeah. Like my senior year, I've placed All-American every single fucking time. And now I'm out of There's it. There's an epic photo uh, on podium of All the, the first... Girls the, no, that, no, no, not the swimming one. This is, oh, I think, it was a it. triathlon, um, or no, it was a, uh, yeah, it was a triathlon. First and second were true trans athletes. The third was taking a photo, and it was um, a oh, right. cis. So a woman that identifies as a woman that was born a woman, 
um, and she's holding both of her children and the two female trans athletes that transitioned from male to female and then competed as female yes. as athletes got first and second. Jesus Christ. And she's standing there by herself and it's, you're just like, oh. It's so annoying to me. I, yeah, I, I don't know who would think that. A lot of people because they don't think about it. But they've also never. Do I it. want a, an inclusive environment where a trans athlete can feel safe to be able to compete? Different yes. yes. Different, yeah, different question. Let them compete. They're well, going to make an open yeah. category. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Let them, an open yeah, category. But I want my daughters to compete level playing field fairly. Yes. My, my thing about all of this is that I'm, I'm mandated to think about this and talk about this in a certain way. And it's 15 minutes old. So when you, when I'm not, if I say a man's a man and a woman's a woman, I get banned from Twitter for life. They don't you know? do that. They, 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 that's the problem. You know, the, yeah. you're, 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 you're enforcing this ideology and these ideas that, that they're acting like our settled science, which are new, um, on people who are like, wait a minute here. This is, this is, this Current is. Current events is sketchy. <laughs> it's sketchy. You guys do this on every one of your yeah. podcasts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gotta, ballsy. Yeah. We gotta Ooh, get back yeah. to comedy. Well, actually, sure. I, I did this one especially for you guys. She got a snap, put a little shot in his mouth during a call of making fun. Uh, that's just him crying for help because she's so hot. Yeah, she's <laughs> so hot. She's I get it. Snaps. Yeah. Put it. She's so hot. She is. And you know she's brilliant too? Uh, I know her and I've worked with her. And she's I, brilliant, brilliant, I right? She's very smart. And she's a reader. She's smart as fuck. Yeah. Did she read my book? And she's cool. <laughs> you know yeah. what? I don't know. She she don't know. She that's would. how smart she is. I, uh, I think she's single, Tim. Oh, you're yeah. married. Not that she's with like Megan Kelly or something. Uh, Machine Gun. <laughs> no, Wait, not Megan. I can't. <laughs> Machine Gun <laughs> Kelly. Me Megan Kelly's also hot and <laughs> kind of and, and, and pretty smart. Yes. She's a brilliant woman too. A smart woman is a term. Yeah. Uh, Megan Fox just has all. She has all the cards. Oh. Yes. One of the hottest Jesus women Christ, in the world. I put the shotgun in my mouth and yelling on the phone and like the barrels in my mouth. I go to cock the shotgun, the bullet, as it comes back up, the shell just gets jammed. Look at my face. Do we believe this story? Look at my face. No. I got I skeptical so. hippo yeah. eyes. Yeah. yeah. Skeptical that hippo doesn't make eyes. sense in how a shotgun operates. She, she might make you kill yourself. I mean, there are women out there that'll break your fucking I'll back. I'll kill you right now. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Like, we're, yeah. we've been friends a long time. I'll do six <laughs> years for her hard time. You would, you would choke me on you you kill me. You'd break my neck yeah, for Megan Kelly? Like You'd be like, I'm sorry, Brian. No, Megan, for Megan, Megan Fox. Fox. Megan yeah. Fox, yes. Megan Kelly, no. Yeah. yeah. You would. If we were just, we were here and she's the last woman on earth and I was like, guys, take it. She likes me. Me and Tim are killing you. She yeah. likes my personality. And, I, and then me and Tim are doing things Or she was like, you guys should fight it out. Yeah. yeah, we're killing you, dude. I call. I carry Sorry. a small knife, dude. This is, <laughs> Bring you know a bigger what, you know knife. what happens? I go, Tim. I don't want Tim. I don't want. Eh, eh. Sorry. <sighs> you know that. You know that. You know the guy who's like that. He's like, oh, oh, Tim. All that exercise. All that training. I'm sorry. As I drag it up, you're like, huh? and then you I can't believe it. Then you finally treachery, hit the and you feel dude, the blade treachery, hit the bone. Bro, yeah. Hey, Remember, and then, you taught me this, Tim. And then, the last thing here, you taught me. Not, no, no. The last thing here is I'm a blue belt. <laughs> <laughs> when are we gonna properly roll? Uh, the first of never. Okay. Uh, uh, I would love to. Uh, I would love to learn from you and videotape it. It was like me trying right. to move around. So with we, we have a helicopter pig hunt on the on the books yeah, we gotta figure out waterboarding we're gonna talk through that before <laughs> yeah, before it. Okay. can we do a can we do a can we do a a, mock? a junior varsity version of no, it no there's only one way to do it <laughs> that's just yeah, how tim's gonna do a mock fucking trial of yeah that. how long can i get a can i t get a time period S sleep deprivation and malnutrition malnutri are definitely added i don't want that can you put them in one of those little uh things like i see on the zero dark 30 where they put force them in like the coffin oh that's the worst yeah that's what i want for them. Well, so the, the pain positions where you like you get in a box you can't start stand all the way up yeah. you know or a box that you can't take a full breath in so they put you in a locker oh my god and they have different size lockers oh, you know about oh my god so like we wait and we're trying to shove but i wait for you to exhale and then i shove you in so you can't, so you can't take a full dude i'm gonna tell dude. you i'm gonna tell you whatever <laughs> i'm singing I, yeah but it's dude, also i'm gonna tell you whatever. squamped so it's like hitting the top of your head so you're, you're kind of you're crying like this but you also can't breathe oh we're gonna leave you in there for how long are you gonna do it? How long? I'm gonna have you can't tell me this I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. Four hours. Fuck Think about the you. pain in your knees. No, oh, then Think I open about the, the fact door. You can't breathe. And I, I like pull on you. Oh, that'd be nice. But then I push you back oh. in. Ah! <laughs> I'm telling you what You sick <laughs> fuck. I'm you sick at this fuck. Look at him. You he wanna see what it. Satan looks like? He loves it. Look at you. Oh, look at that. Look at his teeth. <laughs> so fun. You are dark. <laughs> so fun. Dude, I feel like the room just got dark. I can't breathe. <laughs> Nuts. Us. I was, uh, I was on a flight for 27 hours last night. I'm fucking, I'm already weak. What else you got to <sighs> uh, What's up with that? Is that a mustache? 
What's up? What me? Yeah, yeah you. Yeah, it's a little mustache. Is it? Tim I've always had a mustache. Weird shit. No, like, no. He said, "Is it?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about me. I don't know if you're talking yeah. about me, but yeah, this is a mustache. Okay, the little, yeah, you know, small yeah. one. My brother's Korean, and uh, we don't let him do that. Why? Because it looks terrible. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love my brother, and I'll be like, "Your brother's Korean?" Yeah. How's he? He's adopted. You oh. guys are the smartest. <laughs> <laughs> See, I put that together. Oh, wait, no, I did it. I was like, "What the fuck is happening?" No, yeah, or you could have married into it. I adopted. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah. So he was uh, married. Yeah, he was adopted actually adopted. Green? Yeah. Well, so is he the it's actually my brother-in-law. Oh, okay. But he was my crib mate growing up as a kid, and my sister. Crib mate. They get best friend since we're this big. Oh, so basically brothers. And then wow. yeah, and then my sister marries him. And wait, that's pretty cool. Wait, that's yeah, cool. super, well, hold, super. Cool. Hold on, hold on. Fun, you, fun story. Wait, cool. Um, was she also a crit? So that that was her brother too. No, like they've known each other since they're like yeah. one. Hmm. Yep. What? Fun. 15, 16 years old when cops show up and they're like, "Hey, caught this dude climbing out this window." And like, what window? Like, that window. And I was like, "That's my sister's window." <laughs> and my brother's like, "That's our sister's window." Like, Chad, what do you? Oh. 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 Come come inside, Chad. Wow. <laughs> now did he They've been come, married like did, 20 years. They got beautiful. Do, my half Irish. Oh, half kids Korean. Are so cute. Mm. So cute. They got green Irish eyes. Jesus. They got like the red strawberry blonde Jeez. hair, but they have like the perfect almond shaped yes. eyes. Yeah. They're just like the most every one of them are the most Mom. gorgeous now, kids. Is he military or he's uh, So he he works for uh, Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant. Okay. So don't try to go there to do bad things. Uh, my brother will kill you. Oh, Jesus he knows. Christ. So you, everybody in your family is a fucking killer. Dude, if I break asses. into that house, I'm, I'm dude. Down. My 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 brother brother um, is an FBI bomb tech detective sergeant, and then uh, Jesus Christ, my yeah, and then my brother. I wonder what a normal day is like for him. I have my my brother, sir. We're like a bomb Tim. Are you, Tim, what I gathered from your book is that you are not just a Green Beret because you started out. As a P X eighteen or something, which was they they needed more special forces guy. That's right. And so they recruited a bunch of like physically gifted guys. Problem is the age for Green Berets dropped by seven years. And get this, they were dying at an exponential rate. Yeah. Double you, double that of double that the of, average yeah. SF guy. And Jeez. the SF guys were like these fucking muscular little these meatheads are in here. Yeah, you're really good, but knowing what, who to kill. No, when, we weren't how, really good. We weren't really good. Right. We we were like m m little muscle meatheads yeah. without yeah. any experience. Yeah. But now I I gather that you you really did gel. You did things. You part. You were part of elite squadrons that I didn't know. There's, there, Maybe I didn't even know they existed. There, that's the point. Ah, yeah. you know. And so when people think really about the baddest guy, groups, yeah, let's talk about them. Uh, no, that's uh, not how it works. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, there's some really. We, I'm so proud of our all vol volunteer military. You know, we longest war in American history. All volunteer going over to fight the longest war in American history. You know, like you look back to the the conscriptions, like the draft of Vietnam, and how damaging it was to american life and yeah. american culture we just fought the longest war in history everyone that was there volunteered to be there wanted to be there and it, i mean that's wild yeah that's cool and yeah. we we also i think have the most powerful military ever to walk the face of the planet think about okay. that yeah well I, I worry a little bit that we have yeah, about ten thousand, or maybe a thousand or whatever it is we have a secret army that that Nobody really has a name for or knows about, and I worry a little bit about much. that. Not that I'm, I'm saying, saying anything. anything. I'm just saying. We have to kill him now. Yeah. Ah, shit. <laughs> he knows too much. He's gone He's too far. far. Wouldn't it be cool, though, if you came into a room, Tim, and you had this secret mission, and I was fucking standing there with my arms behind, and I was like, at ease, Sergeant, or whatever the fuck you are. Yeah. And then you were like, well, Brian? Well. You're like, Brian? I was like, that's right. Otherwise known as... Falcon. I don't know. White Falcon. Yeah, Black Phoenix. Fucking otherwise yeah. known Black as Gray Phoenix. Falcon. <sighs> I know I'm Gray Falcon. Fucking yeah. Gray Falcon. Man Cheetah. That's a good name, dude. Now, that, that's the start of a book. And I give you your Boom. orders. That's your book. Hey, do we get a percentage of that? Manager? 100%. Okay, because we keep the, the, the origin, like the, the origin of the all story this, happened just right here. It. He's on board. Yeah. Okay. My, I wouldn't, like if J.K. Rowling was here and it's like, all right, so this guy has this lightning bolt in his forehead and there's this bad guy, Voldemort, yeah. and he is like, cool. Like you know what my, you know my, you know my, my, my chapters yeah, would be? I beat up a French guy who didn't know how to fight once. That, that would be my chapter. Yeah, bad B.O. Great, great yeah. chapter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. racist. What else you got? Give us one more, Chin, then I get a roll. Okay, well, real quick, with the mustache thing, 
Yep. Tim, you're not the first one to tell me that. Like, girls always tell me if you, if I shave my mustache, I look cuter. Okay, so my shave. mom too. But, you but when I look at myself in the mirror, when I look at myself in pictures, right. I feel like the mustache looks better. So, but self I have to take, I don't take mind a the tip. mustache. Well, Can't, but if girls are telling you they don't like it, no, they don't say they don't like it. They say I look cuter. I look cuter with. Fair point. Uh, I think know, you have a great head shape. You got thank you. You, you kind of have good high cheekbones. Yeah. You know, you you got good, good full lips. He's the almond 44. eyes. What? Forty five, bro. Hate. He's forty five. Asian. He's a handsome. Yeah, color. my, my brother, my brother too, you? dude. He looks like he's the exact same as I remember him in high school. I was like, you are you seriously are you seventeen what? or are you forty four? The only thing we or have on when Asians turn like seventy six overnight, Cinderella, which I agree with. My name. Women yeah, but I do, I'll, I'll take looking like I'm 20 till I'm 70. I agree. I'll take that. <laughs> Fucking like, dude. What, what am I going to do at 76 anyway? You know, my wife hates me already. They win yo, again. Yo, yo, okay, so one the one last more. one, me and Mark are on the same page here. So I had this up earlier. I don't Have you heard about Rudy, Rudy Giuliani saying that he got attacked by someone? Yeah. After the Roe versus Wade thing, yeah, someone he accused attacked him. He, he made it up? He, he, okay, let me play his... Well, this Wait, is what he says so far. You can't, said, you can't say that you did things when things don't happen. I know. Like, hey, I got assaulted by these two white guys, and they threw a noose around my neck. You know, <laughs> um, <laughs> I had a justice. Crazy crazy yeah, there's cameras happen. everywhere. There's not not an inch yeah. unless you go to like yeah. Podunk, nowhere, Texas. There's no. There's cameras everywhere. Yeah. Well, he said he got <laughs> felt a bam, and then he said it. I don't. I, I don't know if they helped me not fall down, but I was just about to fall down. It was tremendous pain in back, and, you know, all this, all this stuff. Yeah. Redness, look, swelling, substantial pain to the back and left side of his body. I don't like that body. people hit him. He's an older man. But look what happened here, bro. This is the this is this after the video came out. This is what happened to him. The guy. That's said, it. They just tapped him on the back. But he said, "What's up, scumbag?" So Watch. because of that. Well, that's not a cool thing to do. That's not cool. But he said that was all, that, he was, was that wasn't down. a nice that wasn't a nice touch. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give that to him. But it's also. Um, being a soft society, yeah. Yeah, like walking up and 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 touching a stranger isn't cool. Like you come up and touch, no, me, yeah, shouldn't touch people. The yeah. softest touch ever. I'm still gonna turn around like a like a hyena that's been starved and should. wants to tear your face off. Yeah, yeah. you know. Um, but that was even more so. Like that was an aggressive touch. But you're a grown man and a dude talks smack to you and smacks you on the back. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. 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 cool. Yeah. Just turn around and be like. I had nothing to do with that dude's back. Shut, shut up. Yeah. yeah. Get, get out of my fucking face. And, and the end of story. So he went out, like his team released a statement saying like he had assault. He released it. a statement Oof. saying like it was like incredible pain. It was like hardcore. You, you, know, the it bummer, felt like you a, know the bummer thing how about him? Probably 97. But do you know the bummer thing about 80s, him? Right? Is Rudy Giuliani, like now I know the whole Trump stuff everyone makes fun. He used to be a real badass. Oh, man. fuck yeah. Super badass. Stood up to the mafia? It's, yes. So well, I, I, hold I on. The RICO Act is yeah. all... Rudy Giuliani, like real badass. Dude. How about the fact he that also turned New York o yes. around? Remember 9/11? Yes. Remember 9/11? He goes, he, we, dude, we can't he, be afraid. We have to just no, stand up to these people. He dude, was 9/11. He, he was going to be. They thought he was going to run for president. He got knighted. I he think was the by most the, yeah. beloved fucking person on earth. And then obviously now you're only you know what you are as of late, like what the media portrays you as. He was Trump's lawyer. You're talking about a real badass back in the day, uh, though. He dude. still is. Yeah. I mean, Bro. I'm not a fan of Trump's. I mean, I'll say it out loud. I'm not a fan of Trump's, but I like. But Giuliani, you know, he's allowed to be friends with a guy, and he knew him forever. You know, he may have his faults, but because he's so just because I disagree with him, him doesn't mean down. I. Yeah. You know, yeah. The two ends of that spectrum is like, don't walk up and hit an 80 year old man in the back. Yeah. Also, exactly. if you're a man and somebody smacks you in the back and talks smack, like, don't be a pussy about it. Yeah. Agree. Just turn around, and be like, hey, motherfucker, don't touch me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, don't do a press release. That's, right. assault yeah. that's exactly right. So do not fucking touch me, Tim. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> Radical <laughs> center. Yeah. Uh, is that it, Chin? That's it. Wait, what about this is amazing. What about What's Jesse Smell Smollett? Uh, it's old. Uh, well, no, oh, so he old? was on he was on Sway's show. You know, Sway oh, in the okay. morning or whatever. Yeah, I love Sway. And he's also uh, he was at the BET Awards and just acting really cool. Ah, fuck and, it. and people were just. Getting well, I already, a hard time. already made fun of him, right? That was you the, did, yeah. yeah. It was, I didn't even know that he was back in the news. He, I was just he's randomly. On, he's all, he went to, on an interview with Sway, which is a big, pretty much big interview. Huge. Then he kept saying how like. <laughs> is this before he goes back? He's to just prison been doubling his doubling down. Okay, he, he can't he, go anywhere but that. He was in prison for like a few days. That was it. He's supposed to be there for he, a he's lot there longer. For one day. Yeah. Oh, then he got like prison tattoos and shit. Yeah. But he said him lying about this is like him putting a fist into black people's culture for 400 after 400 he's years of like it's, he's just a douchebag he sucks yeah. oh, he, anyway. he's the worst but we're talking about him again you know you're we're right exactly yeah. what he wanted we're making fun <laughs> of him yeah. Yeah. So anyway pathetic. let's end on a better note thank you for what you do dude yeah, yeah. thank you I'm thank really you for what you guys do I'm really proud of your and we're, we're, people if they want to get the book it's sold out basically everywhere dude Scars in person it is hard they're trying to do reprinting so, so if you see it on the shelf somewhere snag it um, it's the best name for a book I mean Scars and Stripes come on yeah, so the stripes in the military, you earn the same way that we earn 
scars yeah like it's literally time overseas you get combat stripes and then your your stripes on your other sleeve are the stripes of your t- your years in service wow and then your stripes for your rank is like you earn so you literally just like i don't, I don't know anything else no that's no <laughs> I, f- I love you guys man we love you man freedom first keep just getting out there first amendment is so important yeah when we lose that and you yeah. guys always push the envelope both as comedians and as like podcasters like this is the new front lines for freedom when it comes to like discourse dude yeah you have to be able to talk satire discourse you know fucking i can't change your mind you got to do it yeah you got to do it and if you love freedom i'll be in fort wayne <laughs> indiana july 14th to 16th wow. san diego is july 21st to the 23rd and i end in baltimore on the trash panda summer tour baltimore is august 4th through the 6th and Appleton, Wisconsin, September 8th through the 10th. Can I get tickets then you got to Houston? Houston, Boston. You got it, buddy. Okay. Let's do it. I'll be But uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, you're up next, July 14th through 16th. Come see me, Brookfield, Wisconsin, Milwaukee Improv, July 21, 23. I am in Austin, Cap yes! July 28th, 29th, tickets. 30th. Anything you want. Anybody you want, I got tickets for. Okay. All right? Austin, Cap City. Cap City. They just opened, by the way. They just opened. Sure? I'm excited. Yeah, Good. I'm positive. Then Nashville, Tennessee, Zanies. August 25, 26, 27. God, great get your tickets. I know. This is these then are got, great cities. Oh yeah, fuck great. yeah. Then I got Spokane, Washington, which I actually love. September 22nd, uh, 23rd, top five favorite And clubs. best of my uh, YouTube show we're on. We're about to drop episode four. Check it out. It's gonna be exciting. Episode six, you're waterboarded by Tim Kennedy. So uh, that's messed you up. I'm we got that. Up. We got I'm ready, dude. All right. I'm I'm gonna do I'm gonna war games. War games with Andy Stump and Mike Glover. Fuck him up. And yeah. then and no, then I'm gonna wait. hog hunt and get waterboarded by <laughs> Tim Kennedy. When are you back from wherever you're going? I don't know. We the don't undisclosed know. location. Yeah. No, we can't tell you until this. the mission's done. You make hey. it sound sexy. It's not. It's like it is. I have to go work until the work is done. I know. All right, so ask me when he's gonna be back. When's he gonna be back? We'll see. <laughs> well, Tim, this is Tim. This is how I want you to always answer everything. Watch this. Uh, and when somebody says, so this, I'll be Tim Kennedy. Okay, you want me to ask, ask you? me? Yeah, and say say. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing in Ukraine? Go ahead, say uh, that. What are you doing in Ukraine, Tim? You just keep waking up free every morning, and I'll do what I do, buddy. How's that sound? <laughs> See, I like that too. See that, dude? And That's then, terrible. oh, when are you coming back, Tim? When, when you want to grab dinner or something? When are you coming back? When I'm done taking care of business. Yeah. See? Oh, See that? that? sounds so bad. <laughs> See that, dude? <laughs> I don't know. See how my voice? Yeah, I heard it. I heard yeah, it. That's a good <laughs> I heard it. Two figure Tim. Thank you, brother. Ah, love you. Tim. Go get his book.